Alright, we are ready to rock and roll. Maybe. Let's see. Everybody say hi. Hi. I am everybody. My name is now everybody. I am everybody. Alright, so. Yes, this is. Me and everybody tonight. It looks like I can be heard a little bit better. Yes. Last week I had to. Uh, I, I'm trying to get my phone to stop. Give me a second here. There it is. All right. Yeah, last week uh, I could not be heard on the stream, which was very frustrating. Thelcor, you're back. Welcome. Welcome back. Um, you'll notice the stream is actually correct. Last week I had Starfinder. <laughs> I mean, uh, when we were playing Starfinder, I had D&D on here. Tonight, it is actually D&D, for reals this time, not Starfinder. Uh, Starfinder is Sunday night, though, so you're welcome to come back, say hi. And, uh, there you go, well, more about the chat. <laughs> so let's see, uh, Kendrick, are you around? Are you here? We cannot hear you if you're talking. Um, and it's Anthony Marine with Reno. Can you hear me now? There we go. Yay. All right. Uh, so my, my, my thingamabobby got turned off. All right. Uh, well, you got to control your thingamabobby. It'll get you in trouble if you don't. All right. So we're going to do something a little different tonight. We're going to start with Kendrick. Well, first of all, is Reno with us? You were muted if you're trying to talk, Reno. He was complaining the most about having to start a little earlier because we moved it back a little bit so we can get some more playing time. Per the player's choice, just to let you know, uh, and... Uh, he was the first one on by quite a bit. He was almost 20 minutes early, so kudos to him. He has two inspirations, but uh, either his mic isn't working or he doesn't know he's muted or something. Anyway, um, so we'll start with the two of you. Kendrick, uh, what is a question that Godin would have asked as they travel. What is the question you would have asked talking as they travel? You guys have periodic rests. You get ready to go to bed, wake up. Plenty of time to chat, say hello, ask questions and stuff, get to know each other better. What is the question you would have asked? Uh, maybe is there, do, are there any gods that you worship? Alright, and God, I mean, uh, Taugen, what is your response? Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> I haven't thought about it. Um, and I'm gonna make something up on the spot. Um, I do not, uh, my my religion is the energy around us and so there might be a particular god but if if their presence is in the world then i worship it so i guess you could say i i worship all the gods but at the same time none of them okay all right. It's called the universe. It's called the universe. He, like, the energy of the universe flows around us. All exactly. Right. Is that what it is? So, Tyson, what is a question that um, you would have asked either Jackson or Gowden? I... Th hmm. I think he's probably asked both of them. Uh, what is it like where you're from? Because he's from like a secluded mountain town, so like he doesn't know. 
So that's his question for both of y'all. All right, so pick one first. Put him on the spot. Uh, got in. As, as to where I'm from? Yeah, what's it like where you're from? Lots of woods. Very green. In, in harmony with nature. Talking in real life or characters? Characters. Characters. Okay. <laughs> I say, ha. Oh. Alright, and what about Jackson? Jackson is a mystery. He was adopted. All he knows is that he is a halfling. A tiefling, I'm sorry. Which means that he has some sort of mysterious half background somewhere that could be related to something ethereal. That's the right word. Possibly of the underground heaven or hell. You never know. Uh, and very handsome, of course. He wears a He wears a hat to hide his horn, so the, pro the problem with that was that he was grew up with uh, dwarves, and they are not necessarily all that thrilled with horns, so I made it look like it was a, a hat, a, Victor a you know, Viking hat. So, my upbringing was very uh, ast astute, is that the right word? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, but no, I don't know exactly where I was. It was definitely amongst the anvils and heat and barbarity of, of, a, of a blacksmith and being an apprentice and hardworking dwarves. They don't let much playtime out, so I couldn't even tell you. Definitely townships, not cities. Uh, don't know who my parents are or what their actual thing is. Can I be heard? Am I being heard? Yes. yes. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Uh, so that is about yeah, the best I can do, I think. All right. So that leaves Jackson. What is the question you would have had for Scrambles as you guys are traveling sometime, you know, whether it's at, uh, when you're getting ready to go to bed at night or traveling along the road? What's the question you would have asked Scrambles? Besides, why are you so awesome? You're talking about like, like a question that that I had on my mind, or that I ask him every day. Either one. I do, I do a lot of sighing as he speaks, and a lot of shaking my head like this. If anybody were watching, I do a lot of shaking my head like this every day. Does that answer your question? <laughs> so what is something yeah, you I, want to know about him? What I would not want to know. About. I would want to know about uh, if he had any siblings or or if he had any sort of interaction with children or when he was young. What what type of environment was that? All right. So scrambles. So uh, no, scrambles did not have siblings. Um, He's an only child, but he grew up in a cult of Rakdos, uh, and they were very heavily into the cult of Rakdos and worship of Rakdos. So he did not have much of a childhood, and the childhood he did have, and the children he was around, the children he was around were uh, very, very practiced religiously, um, and it's not a great religion. It's really evil, and uh, so yeah. <laughs> not a lot of time spent around kids. Time spent around kids was like, worship and like uh sacrificing other kids and other people to Rakdos. so not a great experience as a kid really dark okay. scary sadness all right i guess that that, that that explains your flippancy towards life right uh i, I don't know if it's a, a flippancy it's just no, flippancy isn't the right word my mistake yeah he just casual Happy yeah, go lucky matter. I think that's probably a better way to put it. He is uh, not hell bent on being here. <laughs> awesome. All right. So last week, when last we left our adventurers, they had uh, 
Um, oh, that's right. I re I just realized, uh, Felgor, that I have failed as a streamer. I don't have River Chasers. Um, a little blurb about River Chaser for the chat people. Um, that's something I need to fix. So, yeah, we do. I remember typing one. I thought I did. Is it a different uh, code? Because I'm looking at the chat right now, and you typed it in, and it didn't show up. Huh. Let's see. Char. Got in. Tricks. Oh, Tau. No, it says Taugen or River Chaser. So double check and make sure. Oh, uh, let me. Okay, let me. I'll mess with the Nightbot settings. Okay. I know I anyway, did. Sorry, Thalgor. We'll get it fixed right away. 30 lashes with a wet noodle. I mean, to be fair, so, first person to uh, notice that there's something wrong with it. So, honestly, a round of applause for you. Absolutely. You get uh, extra brownie points. You get an inspiration point. <laughs> yeah, we'll, g we'll give you an inspiration point uh, that you can never actually use. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, Suspended animation there for a moment. All right, so we have. Well, when last we met, left, they had decided to go kill the dragon, kill the dragon, kill the dragon, kill the dragon, and so they had traveled uh, down the road, uh, down Trabor Trail to. Uh, the valley that passes between the hills here um, and started working their way up towards, towards Ice Spire Peak where they believed it to be they found out uh, that it was actually a little bit more to the east and so they now have a better idea of where it is and as they were cruising along they noticed um I forget who exactly it was, uh, but one of them noticed that uh, the, I think it was Scrambles, that the snow was acting a little weird. Um, and as they started to uh, come, uh, keep walking through the snow, they see that this, it's actually these large snowflakes that are connected by these filaments, almost like a web. Uh, and it was going against the wind and sort of flowing and moving toward them. Um, Taugen mentioned that they were called frost veils, uh, and it was actually good luck to see them see the aurora borealis behind the frost veils. It's um, the shamans tell them it's good luck, um, uh, and and by the way, they they will kill you. So, uh, just by the way, <laughs> and so they engaged them as um, they didn't really have a choice uh, and that's where we left off as these creatures um, they do acid damage they try to wrap around you um, it's an interesting has been an interesting little encounter uh, is there anything else any of you wanted to add before we get going no oh. Alrighty, then um, it is <coughs> top of the round. We have Minuet. Uh, Scrambles, tell us a little bit what is Minuet and why is Minuet with you? So, Minuet is a manticore, uh, lion, and uh, like scorpion combined with like a griffin. I don't know. It's got wings, it can fly around. It's this horrible, terrible looking thing. It's a spiky winged monster, and uh, they're they're usually pretty evil. But a long, long time ago, we made a deal with one, and uh, we re-upped our deal when we got back into town. And he has since been hanging out with us. Um, he's been keeping to his word, and we've been keeping to our word. And together, hopefully, he's going to help us defeat that dragon. So that's the point he's of him being here. He's a magical creature, first of all. And I had a question on size. Like, are we, like, talking about, like, he's, like, a moose size type of a body, or bigger, smaller? Um, like, he's he pretty is, massive. Yes, he is a good, probably eight 
from uh, the front of his chest to the back of his butt is about eight feet, about four feet around. And the wingspan probably is about 12 feet from tip to tip. So the size of a, a massive moose, if, 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 if it were a moose. Maybe not quite as tall, but yes, uh, it's probably good. Yes. Yeah, about six feet high. Okay. And then the head would go up a, maybe a foot or two higher than that, yes. So, right. yes, yeah. he's a big boy. Yeah, um, okay. And he shoots spikes from his butt, and that's what he's been doing, because he went up and tried to bite one of them, and it sort of, it stung him and uh, did a lot of acid damage to him, so he Let's jumped back. Uh, he is also very cat-like, so you've seen now that you've been watching him travel and stuff and eat and play and, and do stuff. Um, he is like a very large uh, cat, lion cat. Well, he is a, anyway, he is a so, lion. Um, uh, he, here's he is it is now his turn. He is going to do a little tail spike action. It would help if just a Fancy Grounds tip, since Fancy Grounds Academy is in the house. Um, for those of you who, who are new to Fancy Grounds, if you close the map, Makes it more of a challenge to uh, to do the fight. Just a little tip there. I uh, that that does track, yeah. All right, so he's going to uh, shoot tail spikes at this thing that's uh, attacking Jackson because he doesn't care if he hits Jackson. <laughs> that's lovely. No, I was the yeah, one that. Too, there. Uh, oh, there you go. I was looking for a, 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 a attack roll, and then I was, I was like, "Wait a minute, that's <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a second, that's confusing." Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, dirty twenty. So this tail spike comes flying out, and this thing bursts. Uh, all over Jackson has got him wrapped up, um, but there's bits and pieces of us that are, are still out, and it, he hits one of those. Um, but where did it go? There it is, Boink. As it is fades no. away and melts, and the different icicles break off their tethers and start floating to the ground. Uh, Here it is. Uh, Jackson takes a little bit of acid damage as the thing explodes and oozes on him. But it is no more. Jackson, it is your turn. You are no longer wait. Let me make sure you're not. Yeah, you take off the grapple from you. Okay. I can move now. There you go. Yep, you can move. Okay, so I'm. You excavate yourself, like walking through a cobweb, with these different lines all over you. Right. Um. I, I did some damage with my with my frost thing last time, didn't I? I don't think you've hit them yet, with your frost red all. frost. Okay. I don't think you've actually hit anything. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with the Ray of Frost, actually. Just step out of the way a little bit. And, yes, I'm just going to step over like this a bit so I get a better shot. Run out of the way. Say about right there, maybe. Or right there. About right there. Well, this is I will shoot the wrong guys. The Ray of Frost. All right, so you slide through the snow a little bit, get down yep. where you have a clearer shot as this thing is trying to wrap itself around cotton. Right. And I'm casting. Come on, baby. It's actually oh, yes. rather pretty. I think I missed. Yes, yeah, so that is a miss. Right. As, you're, as it flows and... 
edi- uh, surges in the wind. All right, so that is its turn now. You have a picture of my ray of frost. Is that what you just said? I got no, this picture. Is that now it is its turn. And this thing is trying to attack Godin. Trying to get a little bugbear juice. And that is a hit. As the initial cold slams into you. Oof, it is enough to That's my concentration. Hmm. I rolled a net. I know a natural one on my concentration. How nice. All right, and I need a. Uh, do I have? Oh, I forgot to turn back on my requested rolls. So I need a DC 15 Dex check, please. Dex save. Not a check. A save. All right. So as this thing hits you, it wraps around you and is engulfing you. You are grappled. Grappled. Come on. Got it. Boink. All right. So the thing is now scrambles. So this thing is grappling Godin yes. and uh, Scrambles remembers being grappled and somebody hit the thing while it was grappling him and remembers getting hurt so he does not want to hurt Godin. So Scrambles is going to do something really strange. Uh, he's going to st- uh, step forward with his Echo 1 square or actually he can do it because I forgot there and adjacent technically adjacent right now um he's going to try to pull the frost veil off of Godin. so okay. he's going to use his strength and athleticism to try to physically pull off the uh frost veil and whether that works or not i would assume it's like some kind of unarmed strike or grapple check or something i don't know uh, but that's what he wants to do what would you like me to roll all right so give me a um, computer's check acrobatics check I mean, not acrobatic, uh, athletics check. Okay. Can and do. It's, it is Atomic. Welcome, welcome. Atomic. So. That drop itself. The Minotaur is trying to wrestle with this ice being. Looks like a bunch of ice uh, snowflakes grapple, um, connected by his ethereal net. Alright, so he got an eight. That's no, not quite good enough, I don't think. Here is this check. Alright, so he rolled a twenty-one. So you reach out and try to grab at these tendrils or the ice cubes and stuff, and just not able to get. It's very slick, um, and as you yank on one of the tendrils, God it jerks forward a little bit, and it's just doesn't seem to be working not that he not, not that it couldn't but right there and there just didn't get it that time oh, and I'm sorry so that was right. um, and and legally that counts as one attack so you still have oh, does it yes yeah, so a grappling okay. check does count as one attack so if you have multiple attacks you can either try it again or you can do another attack whatever you want I do I do have another attack and I will try it one more time to see if I can help out my buddy because like I said I don't want to hurt him anymore and I don't know about him but I am pretty messed up after this attack, so I will try one more time to help him out. Alright. Wah, wah, wah. Oops. How do you roll a one? Okay. <laughs> Just well, like uh, you see, there's approximately 20 numbers that uh, you can get, so... Yeah. Uh, I just don't know how I go get a <laughs> get a three, a five, and excuse me, a three, and then a one. It's so sad. Okay, everybody, time to change your dice color. All right, and it rolled a twenty. So, yes, uh, it, yeah. again, yes, it trying to do completely useless. Just not able to get the the good grip. It 
jerking God in around a little bit as he's trying to yank him free, figure out what's happening. Um, yeah, so Scrambles will uh, completely fail at that, and then just as a bonus action, I'm going to use my uh, second win, and that'll do it. I'm not even going to move or teleport or anything. I'm going to be confused at why I'm not able to grab and yank this thing off. All right, and so God, and as you... Uh, as you, this thing starts wrapping around you, you see Scrambles Echo trying to free you. Um, you just can't get a good grip. Uh, what would you like to do as your magic drops from the Bless? Uh, casting Sacred Flame to save. Oh, good. And it's, there we go. And then I will bring my spiritual weapon to bear. It will move forward enough to hit it. Okay. And try and hit it. Excellent. Crappy hit, though. Oh, well. All right, so as this thing starts burning and I uh, get slammed by the... spiritual weapon uh, as it as the different crystals burst and, and tendrils melt uh, as you feel burning uh, it's like a was it a nitrous oxide as, as it burns into you mm -hmm. Jackson okay uh, I'm not going to try the fr uh, frost again because I get in tight Maneuver quickly, and so I'm going to take the Dragon Slayer, move in there, yeah. and do some damage to the Frost Veil with Dragon Slayer. All right. We've called. We've named. We haven't named the sword yet. Let's just go with Freddy for. Uh, it's called the Dragon Slayer sword. <laughs> it has a name. It has to have a name. It has to have a name. It is. That is its name. Yeah. Freddy. First name no. is Dragon Slayer. Last name is Sword. Or Mr. Sword. Okay, Mr. Sword to you. Mr. I know. Sword was my okay. father. Please call me Dragon Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> that was in 19. Thank God. Actually, it's two different words. So it's Dragon, middle name, S, Longsword. Nice. All right, so that is a hit. So again, as this blade slices through, you're able to miss Godin, but uh, the thing shatters and, and pierces into his skin as it burns him a little bit. Anything else? Do I have any second secondary actions or anything? If not, you I'll have a second say. attack. Then I will do that again. Hell yeah. Nice. Excellent. Bunch more damage and got in gets burned a little bit more. Sorry. Alright, so oops, hold on. Uh, it is Toggin's turn. Give me a second. Like filing fighting an alien in <laughs> in aliens. Splashing acid everywhere. Oh, I don't even have you on the map. Give me a eight and a twelve, please. I mean um two eight siders, please. To me? No, it was talking. No, it was to me. Okay. Probably to determine Dang. where on the map Toggin is. Hello. Um. Do you rise I up do. from the <laughs> foot and a half of snow? <laughs> you guys look away, and he's like rising as if like on like a platform, like coming from under the stage or something. Hey, I saw that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is now Predator versus, versus Alien. <laughs> okay, I Ice do, version. do have a question for you, Sven. 
Um, for the uh, nature's gift, is that like an action or a bonus action or something else? What does it say? Uh, it look. doesn't say anything. I looked at it. Oh, Clarity. never mind. It does. It does say it's an action. I just looked okay. over that part. Okay, it's fine, guys. I have great reading comprehension. Um. Yeah, I think. Okay. I think he's going to do that, probably, considering how hurt Jackson is. Uh, let me check, do a quick calculations, and see what half of your hit points is. Okay, yeah. Uh, so he's... Um... Yeah, uh, so he's going to use all 15 on Jackson, because he's port. Thank you. And so, uh, Toggin, uh, I think he's definitely a bit more in his element now that it's, uh, cold. Uh, so he kind of, like, breathes in, and as he breathes out, like, there's, like, I don't know, like this, like, almost like frost or something that comes out of his mouth, and uh, it just kind of like seeps into your skin, and uh, you feel uh, about approximately 15 hit points better. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. If you had to put a number on it. Approximately, yes. <laughs> a little chill up the spine there. Woohoo! <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, so it did not recharge, so it doesn't get to blast everybody again. So it's just gonna have to be satisfied with killing Godin. Let's see here. You are engulfed, which means. You take a little bit of damage as this thing continues to wrap around you and burn into you. A little bit. Oh uh, shit, guys. <laughs> I was scrolled out. down in the combat <laughs> tracker. Oops. <laughs> I definitely targeted the wrong person, but it's fine. Because Jackson feels better now. <laughs> I was not injured at all going into this, and I just got grappled for a few points. Everybody ki hitting the thing is killing me. <laughs> Has killed me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what happened to me too. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. We'll just uh I mean, now that you're dying, it'll probably really <laughs> All right, So uh That is its turn as God and drops as he's again it's just burned all over his body, it's turning blue and um postules are showing up and then and these ice are just starting to embed itself in his skin uh, and through his armor and, and the tendrils are getting tighter and tighter as he's uh, then drops to the ground um, the creature is just going to sort of pounce uh, not pounce but walk over here and wait if it disengages he's going to see his tail sort of swaying back and forth if it disengages he's going to attack with its tail um, but there's he's with gotten on the ground and a couple people in front of him he's not gonna chance it speaking of gotten all right um, scramble <laughs> So Scrambles is uh, watching this thing pop and explode and bleed goo all over God and, and he's going to keep trying to yank it off and he knows it didn't go well last time but he's been thinking about it for approximately three seconds three to six <laughs> seconds and he's decided that it's still the best course of action in his mind so he's okay. going to try again Alright so, so God is out so I'm going to give you a plus play. two That is role playing the same I'm sorry, Godin is unconscious? Right, so I'm going to give you a plus two. 
Oh, that's that nice. Because he's not moving. I'm reacting. There we go. Now he has 19. <laughs> 12 on the dice is better than a 2 and a 3. So yes. let's see. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, so you're able to start trying to. He has to not get gotten below a 15 off. this entire set. I'm going to try to again. Off, uh, and you, as it rips and tears, um, you are starting to pull some of these things off, but it's a very slow process as there's just so much. And it's like spider webs is latching onto you and melting in your hands and stuff. Ugh. I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. Screw that one. All right. Give me a second. Try again. Dear good grief. Dear goodness. Can't get a good roll to save my life. All right. Well, hey, I tried. Aha. Uh -huh. But that is enough because... <laughs> Finally. After, so again, you've been spending quite a while trying to, you know, wrap it. You've got this big one hand is just encased in this thing as you're wrapping it around like cotton candy uh, and <gasps> pulling it out and you hear God and take a gasp <sighs> as uh, Atomic Hero Squad redeemed a boost of healing for uh, whoever needs it most so I'm going to guess yeah. that that's Toggin who's here he's yes, behind who has everybody both else hit so. mm -hmm. <laughs> everybody else got a few hits in so Toggin yeah. really needs the extra help <laughs> Alright, so right. give me a 1d8 plus 5. Huggins <laughs> injured? No, that's the oh. joke. No, it's he's joking. Okay, I was like, how is he hurt at all? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how in the shit is he more hurt than me? I'm so lost. More hurt who's than the, Who's doing the role? I'm sorry. Doing death that thing role? Oh, oh, I'll do is near dead. I'm at 35 <laughs> hit points. Seven. All right, so seven hit points back. Thank you, Atomic Sylvanus. All hail, Atomic Hero Squad, the true name of Sylvanus. <laughs> He's the agent of Sylvanus. Right? Excellent. Maybe an uh, avatar. Um, so, so yeah, so you've managed to pull this thing off of him. Yay. And now uh, it, if it could, it would turn its eyes toward you now. That's fine. But uh, <laughs> it can't because it doesn't have eyes. All right, so that was your two actions. So what else would you like to do? Um, yeah, I'm going to use something I don't have and just taunt it. Um, it's not an official action, but I don't really have much of a bonus action that I want to do besides that, so sure, I'm going to kind of uh, scream and yell at it with my echo. And neener, I will neener, do... neener. Okay. Yeah, where's my... Uh... There it is. Intimidation. Again, you the bird call thing. Yeah, staff of bird calls. <laughs> Helm of Dread. All right, uh... I mean, yeah. use a staff of bird calls to call it a chicken. Exactly. Alright, so <laughs> while it does not, you do not notice any effect, it does it inspire is. you to get to go again. So, it is oh, your wow. turn top around seven. Okay, uh, well if that is the case, then it is going to attack it. Um, actually, Godin is unconscious, correct? He's just no. barely breathing. He's, uh, oh, he's he's still standing up. Coming to. No, he's on no, the ground. No, I'm he's, down. He's he on the ground, but I'm, but I'm coming to. Okay. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to move over to Godin with my... Actually, no, I'm just going to attack the thing. Screw it. I don't care. I think he'll live. All right. Attacks. Now, I, w I will say because of the echo is holding it mm -hmm. the only way the echo could attack it would be to, to like do an unarmed strike and try to rip and tear it or scrambles could come over and, and use his axe and attack the crap out of it I'm um, saying the echo cannot use his axe to attack it since it's right there on him oh 
what I'll do then, because if he's yeah, holding the thing, that's awesome. I didn't know that. I thought I was just pulling it off of him. But if I've got it grappled, I'm going to try to walk it backwards then. I'm going to try and muscle this you thing backwards. You can move half your speed with okay. something you're, you're grappling. Yep. Let's go 5, 10. That'd be 20. Yep. And then I'm going to use the last of my movement to go here. Okay. Yep. So and that will be my... Actions. If you want to have your echo do that, I will give me a just a straight intelligence check from on the front okay. page. Uh, one second, main page. Call on the left, not the save, but the left. Yep, perfect. Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, all right. Five. So yeah, that will be what my uh, my echo does, and then uh, as an attack, you said I can I can kind of punch it. You said, or what can I do to it as I'm holding it? So he can try to you know make get a grip and try to rip and tear it with his hands. Sure. So then he'll, he'll do just, that. He'll try to imagine try to like dismember a it. Bunch of cobwebs, or like uh, an octopus. It's it's all around his hands, and he's pulled it off, okay. and it's laying, and it's moving and writhing, and. So, I will do that. Is that an unarmed or is that uh, unarmed uh, strike? Okay. You should have it coded, don't you? Yes, I do. Just yeah. making sure. Holy good god! And I probably should let it go then, because that's ridiculous. So I rolled a one. It's your third one of the night, so that means you don't have yes. any more. You don't have any more in there, so. Rest of the night's gonna be good. Next time, next time he gets a one, he just re-rolls it like a halfling. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, I, you know. Anyway, so yeah, that'll do. It. I guess that'll do it then. I, okay. I'm gonna assume I drop it, but at least it's not on Garden anymore. Okay. Hopefully, it's Ooh. infatuated with me. All right, so it did not recharge its special attack again. So it is going to try to attack. Um, Dances with Kobolds. Welcome, welcome. It's been That's a funny. while. Welcome back. Great to have you. Uh, Dances with Kobolds also does some live D&D. Uh, &D, so check her out when you get a chance. Alright, so uh, our, our heroes are fighting these frost veils. This ice cube. I mean the... Um, Snowflakes, snowflake net type creatures, uh, and uh, as it goes, let's see, ten feet, ten feet, ten feet. So actually, Jackson is the closest. Uh, no, the the Manticore is the closest. All right, so it's going to um, try to extricate itself from Scramble. So go ahead and give me a. Another athletics check. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So it does. It moves over toward the Manticore minuet. Um, you know when you hear the GM going, ooh. Okay. And <laughs> you know what's ooh. Uh -huh. bad. Ooh. Uh, as uh, Godin, again, you hear, you, you feel a little bit. Uh, Feel like you can breathe a little easier as uh, um, Mantha eight two two five redeemed and a boost of healing. So give me yeah, another one d eight plus five. Ten, very nice. Ooh. A little bit better nice. than before. Um, there we go. Blink. There we go. So now the healer has been healed um, <laughs> as the the frost veil tries to attack. The Manticore. And it hits. And this thing roars and uh, starts flapping its wings, trying to get away. And Manticore, Manticore, there you are, Minuet. Defense. Um, Go ahead. By the way, just as a quick reminder, didn't you have a ready to action with that Manticore to, if it disengaged, yes, to Yes, you did. Uh, shoot? So it would have attacked first. Thank you. I did 
did forget about that, so we'll see. Yoink. That is a hit. Nice. Oh, it. <laughs> Yoink. So, alright, so a little bit of damage. Oh, partially resisting crap. Uh, let's see if he's grappled. Uh, strength and dex are the same, so he'll just do his strength. Let's see. It did 21. Minuet did 22. So he is not grappled. Nice. As it he flaps his wings, hissing and moving back. Um. <laughs> All right. So let's go to Jackson. As uh, we have a little bit of excitement in the chat. Turn, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, so um, is it feasible that I could run up to it and, and strike, or is it like moving to where I could not do that? You can do that, yes. Okay, I'm going to do that then. Up. Here we go. And... Now, while you're running at any point, do you become uh, angry or enraged at all, or um, just totally level-headed this whole fight? I'm just shaking my head at, at the concept of, of you being rational at all. Of me? Yes. <laughs> I just acted it's, so it's rational! Kind of it's kind of the thing. We've been friends a long time, dude, so it's yeah. always in the back of my mind. I'm always worrying about you getting us into trouble, fighting ten orcs by yourself and all this kind of stuff. What does that have to do with you raging? Yeah. Nothing. Just he asked what I'm doing. I'm not thinking about raging. I'm thinking about... Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. It was a complex thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So that's one thing. Yes. Another time. Hitting it again. Bam. And it is a success. Yay. Nice. And, oh yeah! Damn, that was nice. Oh yeah, kitty back. Nice. Four points. Kick it in there. Nice. Dragon Slayer Freddy. I gotta find a better, better name. I think Enavald is the perfect name to call the sword Enavald. The, the sword already has a name. It's the name of Dragon Slayer. Alright, and uh, so as it's dying, um, where did it go? How about Dragon Kitty Bat? How about that? Call it that? Dragon Kitty Bat? Yeah. Yeah, got it. Just type that in the chat without whispering. Oh. Oh. <laughs> can't be done whisper? No, sadly. Shame. Okay. What is the... Okay, I thought I did something when it died, but no. But you do take a little bit of burning as the uh, slice through it, and it burns your hand and your up and your wrist. Just... Okay. And it goes away. So Grandpa's you... little mumble okay. with his hands on his knees. Uh, Rakdos, curse you! Now I'm gonna run over to God in here and uh, offer my greater potion of healing. Offer it to Dagen him. To insult him. Also gonna uh, try healing him because this guy was about to die. <laughs> oh, I do not um, have those. Gotta be quiet. Shh, don't say anything. Set. Mm, no, I, think I should I have do set those. Keep saying things. <laughs> um, what? How can it be read only? Okay, good. All right, so Talgan, um, if you want to uh, share this as you guys are traveling mm -hmm. at some point, you can. Um, it is a tale from the of the Frost Vales, which you've heard before. Mm -hmm. And uh, Atomic, I have not forgotten. Give me just a second. <laughs> what? 
Um, <laughs> As everybody should, shows him, this thing happens. Do I need to roll the, uh, the... Who's rolling the actual greater portion of healing roll? Me. Okay. If I'm doing it, I'm... Yeah. 44 plus 4, right? Yes. I'll do that. 44. Plus we'll four. see how healed you get to determine right. how, uh, how my spell slot is going to be for cure wounds. <laughs> I ain't going to overheal you. You're not worth that much. Don't want to waste a third level spell slot on you. I mean. That. <laughs> not, bad. Bad. not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, and at good. what point of the day is this again? Like how long have we been traveling up this hill? It, Can we just it is later it? in the day. The, uh, giving you guys the uh, XP. And I'll open the calendar and let you know. Oh, it's in the calendar. Yes, so, um... 3.45, we started at 6, 7 o'clock this morning. So, maybe think. maybe almost 4. There you go. There's your XP. Okay. Yes. Make sure that the uh, healing gets applied. Correct. 4 o'clock's not too terrible. We Four. should set up camp. Get a long rest in before we make our rest of the way to the dragon. Right, so yeah, oh, definitely. Uh, well, I'm going to... Uh, Okay, tokens are unlocked. If you uh, need to move around, uh, so the minuet flies has is flying up um, and is uh, circling and, and sort of looking around, and uh, it lands when it sees it die on one of the rocks and just sort of waits, watching the sky. It doesn't want to fly into one of those things, so it's sort of watching, Cautious. waiting, very cautiously, tail twitching and sort of twit, you know, uh, twitching head back and forth and licking itself where it got hurt. Can you How hurt is it? Can we help it out. Nice. Um, can we help him out. Can I get the Can I get the healing from Jackson's too? And then I'm yeah, basically he almost healed. Dice. He, didn't the healing potion. he didn't have yet because the potion wasn't set up. Oh, yeah. Oh, he just did. I'm sorry. I just called it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was 15. Yeah. He did the 44 plus 4. He just, yeah. Yeah. So you're down to 4. Yes. Nice. Perfect. So Tagan's about to just go around. Uh, I mean, he's just been invigorated by the snow, so he didn't get hurt at all. So he's going to spend You can try. All of his Jackson, nobody's tried <laughs> helping. Minuet. Okay, I I will try that. We'll see him anymore. Where to go? Before you do that. Okay. That's right. It, this it may not go well. Mm. All right. <laughs> and for those of you who have, uh, let's see. Let me check where it's. Let's see. Click. Like, if we, if we're willing to take a few minutes, like ten minutes, I can, I can do a prayer healing and and pop a little back to everybody too, everybody that's injured. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, it's yeah. about it's about four o'clock. I mean, how late did we plan on hiking up this hill tonight? We definitely don't want to be traveling at night time to fight a dragon. So, yeah. What if we, we just find camp? We need to find a good spot though. It's kind of out in the open, other than a couple rocks. It would be a good idea to find somewhere with more shelter. So somewhere that has... can't be seen from above by a dragon. Yes. Uh, anybody who has the uh, 5e effects coating potions or um, the everything else, R2 EMU, um, you have access to greater healing potion, healing potion, superior healing potion that you can throw on your actions page under like Sorry. items and stuff. Most of you right. should have healing potions already because I usually start you with that. Um, but if anybody doesn't, can't find it or we don't it. know where it is. We work like, hard to get those things. That's right. Yeah, so like scrambles, you have regular, you have healing and greater healing already coded in your 
items. So, so if I real quick, um, if we if we take ten minutes right here, let me do some healing, and then we start moving and see if we can find some shelter, and at least we're somewhat healed in case we find something along the way to getting to a better shelter spot for the night. Yes, and Jack, you that. have greater healing coded as well. I have two of items. But I've already used one. It's under your items. You can actually, there's a little person you can drag onto them and it'll just roll it. Under actions? Yep. Um, but let me uh, double check this real quick. No, this is my herb no, list. Items. Wrong list. All right. You're right, my mistake. All right. Oh, that's just not a big deal. It work. It all works. Just trying to make life easier for for you. Yeah, I just didn't, didn't target it. I'm, I'm not sure. Right, there it is. Let's see. Interesting. Okay. So let's see if Atomic is still around. Was a level two. Okay. I heard the word superior healing. Excited. Those those things are. So I have superior, greater, and quote, regular healing. I need to code in my actions page. What's the superior healing uh, benefits? Roll up the dice. Um, give me a second. It's not in the items section. Uh, give me a s No, it's, it's not important. I'm just curious. Um, it's, it's, it's not an item, it's just... It no. is? Oh, it's just a wrong... Yeah, 8d4 plus 8. Wow. Nice. I have one, so it's... Yeah, expensive, right, I'm sure. So right, did you do your? All right, there you go. Did you get? Mammo, Jackson, got in. Right, let me get you out of combat. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to roll a percentile, that, I mean, uh, otter even for you. Initiative. Clear all initiatives. So, is the potion of superior hearing somewhere other than, because I don't have it in the li items list under any potions. Is it in a different book? Is it somewhere that I'm... Five items, effects, coding, potions. I'll, I'll throw it on you. Coding potions. There it is. Okay, let me load that. Found it. Okay. Um, I, I've loaded it now too, so I can do it. It doesn't matter. Where are you putting them? I don't see them on your actions page. I, I'm, I, I'm going to put them on right now. I just, I just had to, I had to load the. Uh, oh, the module. Okay. Load the module, right? I just did. Okay. Uh, okay. So. 
God, and if you cast your prayer of healing, um, you feel very lightheaded, uh, and you, as the magic of healing goes out, and you sit down, and your, um, well-manicured and braided beard, uh, grows about six inches, and the crow's feet around your eyes get really accentuated. Uh, your cheeks get a little sunken. Um, your nails... Pull up my retinol for him. Your nails grow about six inches and are really awkward. Uh, and you're, you have to rip off your boots um, as you hear them snap. Uh, and it feels like you've aged about nine years. I'm sorry, I was not listening to anything you just said. So uh, one more time, because I was looking, I was coding this stuff. Thirty-four, except the nine years thing. <laughs> All I heard was something about nine years. <laughs> he went through a great description. Did he? I, I was I didn't realize he was talking to me. I was just I was trying to fix the issue here because it still wasn't showing up the items. I've got it yeah. now, but. It's your hair's grown, your beard's grown, spell. your nails and toenails have grown. No. Well, you didn't tell me that. I could have done it. <laughs> you pull it from the spells, add it to your actions page. Yeah, you said, when, when, you, when you were explaining it before, you said you pull it from the items. Uh, and I don't have spells, but I don't have spells. Ah, there it is. That's funny. All the all the spells says item, which is funny in itself. All right, so potion of. All right, so you guys feel a little bit better as you are healed. That's great. Did the healing apply to us already? Awesome, it yes. did. Yep. <clears throat> so I'm going to kind of stretch out in a little bit. And I'm going to walk over to Gauden, who was praying and everything, and go, That was a crazy fight. Do I notice anything physically different about him or no? Yes. Uh, like you said, his uh, beard... Everything is... you said I notice? Yep. His beard okay. is about That's six to eight cool. inches longer. Uh, there's yeah. gray in it. Um, his, his cheeks are sunken. Uh, his the crow's feet around his How? eyes are more accentuated. Now, the hair question, and the ears are, has grown out. My question: uh, His thing he just did to heal us while he was praying. Has he ever done that to us before? Once. Once. That I can remember. It, cool. And uh, hey, God. Like, <laughs> yeah. Did something happen with your magic? Cause like. You look way older. I remember yeah, last sure. time. Last time this didn't happen to you. No, this is definitely weird. This is definitely weird. I feel weird. And I feel very to, hairy. You're definitely gonna have to trim your nails, uh, in order before you can put your shoes back on, uh, or manipulate any kind of objects. Oh, that's not <laughs> good. Hey, Taugen, these uh, ugly, like, uh, spiritual vampire thingies we just fought, do they age people or make you look like an old man? Because Godin's looking older. They do not. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think maybe ghosts can do that, but they are not ghosts. Hmm. That is so strange. What about a spell barrier for the region? Hmm? Some sort of spell barrier? For like in, a, in the vicinity of a... Put up a spell thing that'll age you? 
if you do any magics or something? I don't know. I'm just throwing something out there. No, I've... I don't know if Tagen know. knows of anything that would do that. <laughs> no, I meant, but I mean, I'm just giving you, everybody said no, they don't, but throwing some ideas out there. Hey, maybe. Yeah. yeah the, well, we'll just watch our magic. Try another magic and something really, then we know something is up with, uh, with the area. Well, it's not even, like, specifically, no, like, healing been... magic, because Toggin just went around and healed y'all a few times. Yeah, yeah, and I did some other healing, and I did, uh, you know, I did I cast other spells without any mm -hmm. effect. This is this was uh, unusual, sudden um, interference with some <laughs> evil, evil god from... Or healing I mean, the man... Maybe... Some other dimension. What about the manticore? <laughs> no, maybe I healed him, too! You were so close to death that healing other people just kind of took your life force out of you. <laughs> that's true. That, oh, that's, that makes sense, though. True. Yeah, we're uh, just going to stick with that explanation and not uh, attribute it to a magic surge or whatever. <laughs> really? Just kind of diss me on that? <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Although it is a yeah. legitimate thing. Could be a spell casting... Uh, well, so, uh, I, at what age do we have to start calling you, like, Mr. Godin, or, uh, Sir? I'm, I'm only or... 34 now with my <laughs> advanced age, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think we should... I was 25 before. <laughs> no more modeling I mean, career. You're modeling closer career. to that. <laughs> uh, Wait... Are you saying a modeling clear is over for someone at 34 years old? Yes. No. 20, I mean, modeling career yeah. is over for people at, like, you know, like, 25, yeah. Maybe in the U.S. in weird places, but most of Europe, they got people going up into their 50s and 60s, so... Well, yeah, but those are, like, established models, Exactly. Right? You're, you're 25, and all of a sudden you're you're 30-something? You're not getting jobs. If, if you're not applying... You've got to update your portfolio age 25. You don't have a portfolio. You could be a hot seat. There is no one in this crowd that is going to be modeling anyway, so it's kind of a mood <laughs> issue. Hey, you could I be mean, a really hot Depends model, that. or... The heart heart was not here. Was never pretty to begin with. Oh yeah, with. go out there and start selling Bengay. I mean, there you go. Sell so reverse is. mortgages to people. <laughs> and you, you have a good. Could you have a good shot of, of God Godin? <laughs> yeah, it's right. It's in the. Look at your background. Close your yeah. window. Ah, oh, yeah, he's cutie. Oh yeah, definitely. He's a hottie. Change your portfolio though. Can't go from 25 uh, to 34 and just not have your portfolio updated. <laughs> People get weird. So, Godin's age being a whole separate thing we need to figure out eventually. I think we should try to find somewhere to bunker down for the night. What do you guys yeah, think? Get to a shelter. Okay. Some shelter. So we're looking yes. for, like, a mountain cave or something like that. Or even, like, an outcropping that's, like... A little bit of shelter above us, so that we're not seen from above. What about those rocks above? Is there like a is that lip there big enough to get into? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll, yeah, I'll go investigate that right away. I can jump on Nightmare. Oh, uh, Nightmare wasn't okay. with us. I mean, it's a skeleton horse, my dude. No, 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 but he's, I thought you said you weren't bringing him. No, he did so he could carry yes. carry crap. Carry loot yeah. back. He expects so I will... mountains, smog-like mountains of gold in the... Uh... Yeah. Or, as the uh, cat-like manticore would call them, mountains of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Boose. Boose. <laughs> <laughs> So it's probably better than anything that it spends there, it's all so credit. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm asking did you want credit? Sure. I'm saying do you want people to know that it's you? Oh, I don't care. Okay. I don't quite understand I don't quite grasp what you're asking me because I don't remember this question. 
<laughs> Honestly, I don't know what you're referencing, but I don't really mind either way. So do, do what feels good for you. <laughs> are you at the Pritologist? Or at, you yeah. at, are you at Burger King? It's a big difference. Just, just pretend that I'm a 50-year-old model and I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm still trying to be in the game. Just pretend all of that. <laughs> pretend that I'm completely out of it and I'm trying to sell you Ovaltine or something. Oh my god. <laughs> Anywho. Um, but yeah, we should totally... So I'll, I'll scout around on Nightmare and track around. Alright, so you guys keep going. And, oh! Uh, heading toward the mountain and up the mountain. Um, okay. Go ahead and give me survival check. Uh, so I think all of you, except for maybe uh, Godin, are trained in survival. Um, so, but I think Taugen or Scrambles are the highest. Yeah. Uh, Dagen has a plus six. I don't know if that's Scrambles. Uh, wow. Survival four. Okay. But heck yeah, we will try to find out. 17, 19, both great. Nice. Okay, Look at us so... being good at stuff. Um, it will be Talgan's roll. So, um, Talgan, go ahead and roll again because you have an advantage, uh. advantage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with the first one. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> um, you guys keep heading. You come over a little crest, and you see that there's this um, stretch before you. It's almost like a little plateau, uh, and there's a sort of like a little ravine there uh, it's about an hour later uh, the sun is you guys are coming up the east I mean up the west side of the mountain so it's still very bright um, you, as you guys you know nothing is blocking the sun at all as you guys are, are coming up there it's reflecting off the snow and little sparkles everywhere um, and as you crest this little hill and it has a little plateau and goes back keeps crawling back up um, you Go ahead and give me some perception checks. Uh, this time, just go ahead and roll them. But we'll see who notices it first. Oh, you got lucky in that one. Jacked them, yeah. That roll, though. That was <laughs> lucky. <laughs> All right, so Jackson, you see down in this little ravine it's about four four to five feet deep um, that there's it looks like there's some sort of mound in the snow uh, and you make it out you think it might be a body buried in, in the snow there all right I pass on the information Psst. hey guys check this out <laughs> a body uh, poke it with a stick right I mean <laughs> uh if you do say poke it with the stick, uh, Toggin's gonna use, uh, it's not mage hand, it's witch hand. Mm. Obviously, it's a very important have, difference. I also have three javelins, too, so we can actually <laughs> poke it with the stick if you want to. <laughs> the not pointy end of the stick. <laughs> the not... dull end of the stick. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's just, let's start our, new, our new map. No. Wow. We'll it's pretend pretty. it's a hot pocket and it's still frozen. We're gonna poke it. Okay. You, you go to poke it and you realize you're about 45 feet away. You need to get Where a little is this closer. Body? Where is it? <laughs> Where is it on the map? the hell over there? Is it a giant blood smear that's like 95 feet long? I think that's more like 30. It's all scale and it's snow and nothing. You can tell nothing. So, I agree okay. with the general master there. My question is, is it this thing? It's down in the ravine, yes. Yes, right okay. there. Looks like it's it could be a giant, it could be a body of a giant, it could be a body of a... See, but you said anything. we saw a body. When I think of a body, I no, think of like a I human said, body. I said we it's saw a mound of shape snow. that could be a body of some sort. Yes, and if um, you zoom in... Yeah, 
you will see that it looks like a body covered in ice. Mm. Oh, okay. okay. You said so. <laughs> I say we get closer to it then. Yes. Why am I the only one getting closer? So that's a um, ravine. That's so a ravine. You're sliding so. down the edge. <laughs> he just jumped down. Sure. Yeah, go this way. There you go. Over here, guys. Let's go this way. There you go. All right, we're at the ready. In case we get ambushed here, I am looking does around. Have a, does someone have a stick I can use? Tug yes. is going to use a uh, mage right hand to uh, poke it. I'll give you a like, javelin. Try brushing <laughs> off some of the snow or ice or whatever. It is ice. It is encased it is in ice. ice. There is Ooh. snow around, but uh, it, this thing mm -hmm. is encased in ice. All right. Well, I, I've given Shambles uh, one of my javelins. All right, I have a javelin. So give me have... DC 15 survival check. Okay. Since um, scrambles is close. Really? 14. I am one below the necessity. Sad day. <laughs> Can I give him some help there to, for surviving? No, because you're 25 feet away. I could be closer. <laughs> <laughs> I could easily be closer. <laughs> but you're not, are you? <laughs> and so what did you say you were doing, Scrambles? Uh, I have a javelin that I borrowed from Jackson, okay. and I'm <laughs> kind of moving the snow <laughs> away and poking at it, but with the okay. not sharp point. I, get I don't want to cut it open. little hurt snow, it. if any at all, on it. It's oh, But it is covered with ice. So, tink, tink, you're able to chip away some of the ice, yes. I want to hey. kind of see what's under it. If we it's are trying to get through the ice, uh, fire might be an option. I do not have any fire magic, but I do have a fire potion. But uh, wait a minute. We have we have you? oil and and flame, so let's not use anything just yet. Let's think about this. Yeah. It, yeah. Do we oh. have that? Like, kind of uh, Let's have some dinner, and I'll just slowly melt the ice as we're going along. Oh yeah, we just build a. You know, a fire pit on top of the body. That's definitely respectful to whoever the folks did there. Exactly. It's it's like it, it's like um, <laughs> just Viking Viking uh, send off. There you go. Yeah, we'll just build a ceremonial pyre. Scramble, you know, not under the body, perception? but over it. Um, is that on my main page or where is that at? That is your perception modifier plus ten. Yes. And okay. It's also so. On your main page. Strength con, wisdom, it says charisma. E R C perk. On your main page, thanks to senses. Mm -hmm. Oh, it says 14 plus. Okay. Or it has a little plus symbol. So 14. Uh, you are able to tell this is um, not a giant, but it's, it's good size, like, and it's probably as tall. Um, and, I mean, it's probably as wide as you were. It is oh, big boy. Wide. Maybe a little thicker than you. Hey, uh, I think this might be the remains of, of a giant, but I'm not sure. I'm going to keep looking. So, I'm going to give it like a decent poke with the spear. Not like trying to impale it, but I'm definitely going to push the spear in about an inch. Maybe a uh, two. You're able to... What are you going to do? Kill it? Scrape off the ice or pierce the ice, yeah. whichever one you wanted to do, in a small yes. javelin tip section. Tink, tink, tink. And it doesn't come roaring to life or twitch at me or anything? No. Okay. It does have gray skin. Oh. Oh, he was being, he was being cautious there. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. So, <laughs> uh, but then again, it sort of got in like Jackson and Taugen. They and Taugen. Have, they all have yeah. raised gear. So. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't uh, narrow it down all that much. <laughs> it looks like everyone around me besides me and the horse that has bones. So, uh, yeah. Hey, uh, hey you know it doesn't have fur. <laughs> this is either a Goliath or a bugbear, owlbear thing, or maybe it's... Uh, a tiefling, or but Tugin it's for just glances around at the rest of the party, and he's like, "It's for sure dead." <laughs> Is he just getting ideas? I from could us? be Cinderella, and uh, <laughs> I mean Snow White. So you know, I'm gonna him, go up. 
Give it a kiss. Towards where I think the head is, and I'm gonna try to unbury its head. And like see if I can see from the face what it is. Alright, Tom, now that you're close enough, give me a survival check. Okay. Am I close enough that he is? Yeah. Talking. <laughs> like next to it. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought it was a nice. two. <laughs> That's dope. I also thought it was a two. <laughs> Got caught on the edge of the screen. I'm like, well, <laughs> he doesn't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the flavor I'm text I forgot to give you. There you go. Uh, um. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to. Because I have a spell. By the way, of, this map is uh, really pretty. I, mean, I have a mem uh, Yeah. Barbarian awareness magic. Magic awareness. That's not a spell. If I concentrate like that, you know, I do like that, I can seek out magic sources. Yeah, it's basically detect magic. Basically. As an action, you open, you open your awareness to the presence of concentrated mag magic. At the end of your next turn, you know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you. It isn't behind total cover. When nice. you sense a spell, you learn what school of magic it belongs to. Alright, you probably shouldn't, oh. but you do sense a little bit of magic next to scrambles. Okay. Talking edges. Okay, just pull your pants up, man. <laughs> Seen a little magic there. Seen a little bit of that magic. No, just the tip of the magic. Next to him. Next to him. It's next to him in the ice. It's very cold here, okay? <laughs> you also detect his, like, little pillowing. This and yeah. that. Oh, you think I have something magic? I'm holding a magical loot with a magical cloak with a magical helmet yeah. on. I'm like, what could it be? Could be anything. Right? With my two different magical wands. <laughs> could be anything. Talking, uh, edges closer to it, like, trying to get a look from a different angle. Mm. It, it looks pretty fresh. Uh, maybe in the last D or so? It, uh -huh. And it's covered in ice, and it wouldn't normally be, so I'm guessing it seems like it might be a cold magic that killed it. Or a blast of cold. Ah, the magic. dragon. Might be. Probably the dragon, yes. But. That makes sense. There are other options. <laughs> so, yeah, his. Uh, Jackson has a ray of frost. You never know. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Could have been that ray of frost that he shot off into the distance earlier. <laughs> One shot right. at a giant. <laughs> One shot at him. I mean, this guy I has already tumbled down the mountain. And, and like two hit points left. And just got... So just to clarify, Jackson, because I don't think you heard it because you were being a smart ass. The <laughs> magic was coming from the ice next to Scrambles. I heard that. Okay. We had, we had to say something about his magic too, so... <laughs> He's the magic man. So <laughs> Scrambles will, uh, in, in the most respectful way possible, loot this body. <laughs> this body's encased in ice, my dude. Not anymore. Yes. All right. So as you chip away the ice a little bit and pee on it and do whatever you need to do to get rid of the ice. Yes. You notice Are you calling us yellow snow? Are you calling us peons? A bag. You can tell it's an ogre. Uh, and it has no legs. Ooh, that sucks. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, anybody who is trained or proficient in medicine can give me a medicine check. Um, and you also, because of his Jackson's magic, you see that there's a... Um, Fuck, damn. A sack. Talking out here, like being really good with this one specific body. Kicking it, wow. <laughs> Alright. 
So, uh, what do you call... Targets P is magic. <laughs> P is magic, but now we know. It's been revealed. <laughs> the secret right? has come out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I I'm mean, this right. the ogre with no legs just makes me think of the uh, what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Yep. <laughs> I mean, basically the same. Somebody's got to eat ground ogre, right? Yeah, but this guy don't have to eat ground ogre. But... How would you get your legs cut <laughs> well, off? Somebody. Actually, we don't. Okay, can, can we tell if it was battle or if it, or if it was after he was dead? Can we do a little forensic detailing here. Yeah, how dexterous can we get with this? I mean, it. So there is very little blood. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, that means what? That he had magical boots or something? It was no, frozen it, when it was eaten. It means that the legs were removed after. Okay, he so died. this is not like a little dwarf running around killing people by cutting off their legs. No, yeah, wasn't if, it, if you look here, wasn't it, it looks a, like a, they a were physically disabled off. ogre that came up here to fight a dragon? No, no it's, not, it's, it's, it's definitely after he died. It looks like they were bitten off. Uh, and you can see how the ice was around the rest of the body, but not the legs. So... Uh, the scrambles so, will... Grab the bag and dump it out onto the ground. See what's inside of it. Sven, were they bitten off by like a dragon sized mouth or like no. a wolf sized the mouth? The dragon is massive. There's no way he could have done it. Yeah, I know. Like, how large are the bite marks? Um, there are two stumps. So give me a perception check, or actually, no, investigation check. He's see if you can determine. Kind of... You want it in the tower? What caused those oh. stumps? So yes, Oops. uh, it, these were a dragon. Ah. Oh wow! You see a scrape in the snow and stuff where the big snout came and and the ice and underneath. It. Can we tell it was from the dragon or just a dragon? <laughs> well, a dragon that likely had ice magic. Uh, Ours could, could be kids, a different one. Know. Exactly. Could be a different one. Yes. It seems like this is a little bit small. That's all I'm saying. I, I I'm not getting the scale in this dragon at all yet. The you guys have fought a dragon before. <laughs> I know, but, but then why would they be taking little legs off a, th a thing if it's that big? They're not little legs. That's a pretty good bite. Nice I mean, little snake. Yeah, that's an ogre. Dragon this size. That's a large creature, I think. Anyway. I am here. It is. I was clicking the wrong button. There it is. Okay, so there's there are some coins in there. Um, there's a little silver box. There's a helmet. Uh, three potions and a small little silver device. Ooh. Cool. Let's take a look. I will hand the potions to Jackson and. To Godden and to uh, Taugen, because I know all three of them have been drinking potions and healing people, so I'll hand them to them. And I'm going to examine the little silver device to see if I can tell what it is. It is a top. Spinning top. Like a, like a dreidel? Mm -hmm. Yes. Does it have so pictures on it? It does. It has um, oak leaves. Ah. Uh. I use my history oh. to see if I can uh, to discern if this is something that is of a traditional type of a thing, or if it's just. Well, well I'm doing. Gonna uh, preempt immediately that by hold it up. That the oak leaves are a symbol of Savannah's. So oh. just gonna You're, say that. Oh, probably okay. not gonna well, know that go. because I'm going to see the oh, oak yeah. leaves, hold it up, and go, "Hey, look! It's a Savannah's top," and then <laughs> spin it on the ground in front of me. But I'm saying that towards Godin. Oh, look! It's right. a Savannah's top. <laughs> Okay, it just cool. spins. Cool. And spins. And I do like a little dance around it, like a child would with tops. And spins. Is it top spinning? It's I hand my potion to uh bumps to into a little rock and nice. spins. Oh, oh hey guys, my top is better than the normal tops. It's still so good. It's a finished fidget spinner. 
And spin. I don't think it's gonna stop spinning, guys. Is it supposed to? And spin. Is it supposed to keep spinning? By picking it up. It continues to spin. And spin. Uh, it's a top of endless spinning. It's I completely pick it. useless. I, d I grab it with my hand, and then I spin it okay. in the palm of my hand. Um, as you grab it, you start flying around in a circle. No. <laughs> <laughs> you feel slightly more naturey. Um, so yeah, you're able to pick it up and stop it, and it looks like a normal thing. If you try to spin it in your hand, uh, give me dex check. Okay. I got sleight of hand. And it uh, drills through your hand. Just a straight dex check, not dex save, just a dex check. So, is that going to be on my homepage, or yeah, is that like page. my acrobatic? Okay. My on the left. Dex. Dex. Abilities. Sad. Yeah, you're not able to get just be on your calloused big giant meat hand as you're trying to get it to spin. Well, well I'll kind of grab it and I'll toss it to Godin. Ah, you might like this. I think it spins oh. forever, but I'm not sure. Alright. Um. Anyway, Jackson, you never gave me a history check. Yeah, acknowledging my history suggestion. So you heard, you've heard of a long time ago. You you remember hearing a story about these well, they're called uh, Sawari Top made by okay. elves and uh, they um, for the tribe of elves are the Sawari and uh, if they're made correctly they do not stop spinning yeah. But you could never afford one as a young tiefling, so you never were able to get yep. one. Okay, well, I've, ha I've handed the potions off to Talgut. Yeah, uh, cool. Godin took his. Uh, okay, so I there were three potions of healing. Think, uh, one goes to Jackson, right? Or Scrambles, whoever wants the other one. Well, Scrambles pass it to you. So oh, okay. Two of them are gone, so... Two of them are gone, yeah. so there's... I one got one, one, she got one. You. Right. Um, or just get Jackson. Inventory. Where's my potions? I already have... Uh, I have two potions of healing already, so... I don't know how many Jackson has, but if he has more than two, I will take it. <laughs> Unless he has two or less. I have... I think three. Okay. Then that that solves it. I will take it so I will have three also then. No worries. Okay. Where's and my party sheet? What about yeah, the, I have to, uh, one of braider and one of, one of braider, regular. You guys gonna do anything with the little silver box or the helm? Yes. Helmet? Oh. Or silver box. There's a silver box and a helm? Yes, I'll yes. take out the silver box. I don't remember that. Yeah, metal I had a and helmet. Seems like a piece of crap. And the middle the helmet. box is interesting. Is it like a trinket box? I have sleight of hand, I'll check it out. It's a snuff, snuff box. Your sleight of hand snuff. will allow you to steal it from somebody or put it in somebody's pocket <laughs> without them noticing it. How do you open up locks then? Pick the like lock little, pick. Little, little, uh... It's not locked. If you were trying to pick a lock, it would be thief tools. <laughs> which then would, be, or you could use sleight of hand. To pick a lock, yes, but it's not locked, and it's not big enough to have a lock on it. It's a snuff box. It's like the size of a uh, smaller than a locket, um, okay. like a little locket type thing. But the box is small. It. It's it's like a s tobacco Altoid box. That's fine. I get yeah, it. You just box. said silver box, and you said three potions. You handed them out, and how can because I don't know anything about potions. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, now they're all healing. Well, I wouldn't have passed it on if it was if I knew that. I wouldn't be looking at the box if I knew it was a little stunt box. So it's 
So exec open the party sheet and it's all sitting there to see. Yes, that means I have to read. That's true. Reading. <laughs> All right, so we have all of our crap. So you guys gonna leave the snuff box yeah. and the helmet? No, we should pick it up and take it. If nobody has already, I'll grab them. Okay. Yep. Looks like nobody has them, so I will pick them up. I don't care. Uh, the Dwarven Helmet, does it have anything cool written on the front of it? No. Okay. Might as well take it, it's loot. I can strap it onto the side of Nightmare. Make you so look more impressive it. by, uh... Nice. My horse has it. a helmet now. <laughs> <laughs> Duct tape it to his head. Yeah. Alright, so, uh... With the, you, I'm going to continue to use the survival check that you rolled already. Perfect. Um, I'm going to say that it took. Okay, so it's about. Four, five, five, about six o'clock. You're able to find. A small cave, uh, or not really a cave, it's more of an indent in the side of the mountain um, that you can, gives you protection from, um, you know, rain and stuff like that. Goes in about five, six feet, uh, extends for about 15 feet, and so, um, and it's about 12 feet high, so you're able to go into this little divot. In the side of the mountain and take your rest if that's what you want to do. Are we able uh -huh. to create fire without, uh, without being noticed or is it too shallow? You have not been collecting firewood and there are not any trees up here. So you don't have anything to burn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is true. But we have Good. cold weather. Uh, we have, we have cold weather clothing and we have, clothing. uh, weather sleeping bags. Heavy sleeping bags. We also bags. have a tent. I have a fancy bit, though. So, yeah, could, uh, does our tent fit in, in here? Do you have pythons? I do. Yes. Okay, so yes, if you have pythons, you can drive them into the stone. Otherwise, I you have wouldn't five, be able to set up the tent. I have five pythons myself. There you go. I have, I have no tent. Good enough. We've got a Perfect. tent, guys. Woo! Since we get our tent set up, I will take out my heavy sleeping, my winter blanket, and I will go inside the tent, put my winter blanket on, and stand there and think about the day and the day's events. All right. So Are you taking a watch. And as yeah, we're gonna definitely keep a watch here. I think as we're uh, setting up the uh, tent, Toggin's going to recite a uh, story that uh, oh. that uh, they told in uh, from his clan. Because Sven sent this to me, and I think it's really cool. <laughs> they took the sled dogs first, and later the seal skinner set to guard them. We'd hear a confused, muffled cry in the wind, and then we'd find them a raven harvest, cold and stiff on the ice. Next time we heard our we hid ourselves and watched, and saw them floating through the air like kites. A wisp of blowing snow that never dispersed, a billowing snowflake sail moving with sinister purpose. The cloak of death, our squirreling guide called it. And that's about the, uh, frost thingamadoos that, uh, we fought earlier today. The frost sing? Veils. Veil. Veil. Not sail. Veil. Yeah. Uh, veil. That's the uh, frost veils. They're no, spooky yeah, and scary. And not skeletons. Um, but yeah. 
So as we're setting up the uh, tent, Toggin's telling you guys about that. Cool. Thank you. Alright, yeah. that's a bad story. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a spooky scary. Yeah, by the only one who gets really creepy vibes out of this? Or somebody might want to keep an eye on Taugen? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's a dark like... story. No, it's like. First it came after like... the children. Holy shit. <laughs> it's more like a warning story that they would tell to tell people hey, don't fucking go near these things if you're not ready to just die. Um. Exactly. So, do you, you think maybe during the five days that we were preparing to go up here, you could have given us that story? We could have <laughs> ran away from them. I tried to suck it in. I thought it was a wisp of glitter in the air, and I tried to suck it in for a second. Okay. <laughs> I um, heard that story. I would have ran away. <laughs> Mantha wasn't playing, so uh, and did put in the uh, message of the day that Toggin warned y'all. So we're oh, gonna add that in. Okay. Hagen <laughs> did put that in the message of the day. After so. the fact, there are also <laughs> hundreds of animals and creatures and snow things that can kill you, from <laughs> avalanches to oh yeah, dag daggers made of ice that melt, so you don't have any evidence. So there's no way to know what you could run across next. From now on, we just spend our entire time traveling yeah, but... with Toggin just reciting stories about dangerous animals <laughs> and creatures that we might encounter. Yeah, good luck going to sleep after that shit. I yeah. mean... If there's a Yeti or something about it, maybe we should know, you know? <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and take a quick break. Um, it's 7.45, we'll be back at five minutes before the hour. Um, okay, got you. Go relieve yourself, grab water, whatever you need to do, and be back here in, at uh, in ten minutes. Okay. <laughs>
All right, we are back. Hope everybody feels refreshed and ready to go. It's the benefit of having a three-hour stream. Um, <laughs> Washington State law, anything over three hours, you have to have a break. <laughs> nice. Yeah, what does Fandolin say? That's right. Yeah, what is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure we have an indentured surgeon in the bottom of uh, indentured servant in the bottom of our house. <laughs> right. Uh, also, uh, I'm pretty sure we're not getting paid for this. So, um, Sven, where's our paycheck? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so go ahead. Take care, are we? Give me oh. yeah, where's that inspiration at? <laughs> Give us our percentiles to uh, see how much we get paid. All right, percentile. Nope, that's it. Is that right? Nope, that's not percentile. Speaking of inspiration, don't forget, Jackson, we have two. I have two. Can I give them to somebody? They need it? You can. Yeah. I give them to you to inspire a better pun joke. I'm glad <laughs> you guys are sleeping that night. Let me, um... Is the... I, I have a harrowing tale I can tell. Okay. Hmm? Oh, this is real life, though. Talk about they, it in D&D terms. Put it in character voice. D&D terms? A friend yeah, of I mean, mine don't, you don't talk about did this your... and that. Well, no, no, no. Don't talk about your cell phone. Talk about your uh, sending stones or whatever. <laughs> like. Oh, yeah. I can. We can talk to each other all night. I whisper, hey, hi. What's up? How's it going? He's out there. Shut up, I'm trying to do my watch. It's okay, I'm up anyway. <laughs> no? Not this luck? <laughs> okay, fine. fine. Right. We're, in a, we're in a small cave. There, oh, the, there are uh, five of us packed in a cave. Is the watch <laughs> order correct in the party sheet? Toggin, uh, Scrambles, uh, Jackson, and J uh, Godin? Sure, sure. Yeah, Toggin's okay with going sure. first. After he's giving the rest of the party nightmares. Uh. Alright, so, Jackson, as you're staring out over the western valley in front of you, um, you can see where the snow ends way off in the distance. And uh, you're about to turn back um, and go inside a little bit, and you see some movement down below you about 100 feet and it takes you a minute and you realize that you are seeing a very large creature ah all right that's low. it appears to be going from the north to the south traveling through the snow um, just okay at a walking pace um, sort of sniffing around, stopping every once in a while. Um, you don't does not appear to know notice you at this point. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna. Am I on watch or am I have I just seen this randomly? Is this on my watch that I've seen this? Yes, this is on your watch. It is still okay. It, it's through the moon. I'm gonna pull up down below. You can see him in the snow. By the moonlight. Sending stone. Rocky talkie. Scrambles. Hey, scrambles. Something going on down here. Don't laugh. It's real. It's, it's, our, it's our rocky talkies. It's our rocky talkies. I'm not on watch. I'm telling you. Hey, dude. No, dude. I thought you Something gave going it. On I thought, didn't you give it to um, the girl? So it's at your house? No. You tell me. I don't have a girl. So it, there's no way it's in range. Guys. Oh, is it, is is it work that far away? As long as you're on the same plane. Oh. No. I, I thought that's what you guys that. had done. Because you were like, what happened if... I didn't do anything like that. No, I didn't do that. That's, oh. But oh, that's, that's a great plan. So, we should have done that. Dream, okay, so... We shouldn't have? Jesus Jackson, Christ, we're the ones out there drink. <laughs> Jackson, I would never hear some that, snoring so. in the night you talk. He eats... He stops snoring and rolls over like three feet from you and 
digging around, looking through his backpack, trying to find. Delete, 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 has blocked number on them. Exactly. <laughs> See who it is, and I ignore the call. <laughs> Hi, is this Mr. Death Dealer? Uh, we See, we've been trying to reach you about your uh, carriage's extended warranty for a while. Um, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, so Scrambles. Okay, so Jackson is talking to you from about four feet. Poking you with my, poking you with my javelin. What do you Not need the round over end this time? What do you need over? <laughs> There's a large creature out here, man. Unidentified, according to the map. Oh, well, let's do some digging. And Wake up the others. We got. We may have to be. Uh, I'm speaking quietly, but I'm talking out loud. Ah, oh, sounds good. Be cautious. This guy. This guy's sniffing like crazy, so we might be in trouble here. Does it, is it like one of those things that Tonga was talking about earlier? Uh, eat your children and pukes it up souls does. and stuff like that? Oh yeah, steals their right. souls. <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't know what it is. The others. As long as I run faster than you, I don't care. <laughs> so Scrambles will gently nudge Taugen and nudge uh, Gotten Awake. All right, so as you guys are waking up, um, back. I need a party stealth roll. As you see, this uh, thing looks to be about 15, 20 feet long. It's not going to be a good stealth roll. Uh, Scrambles and Toggin don't have dark vision. <laughs> you can see it. It's so big, like I said, the, the okay, moon okay. at night and the snow. You can see it off in the distance. Okay. About 100 feet away. Below you, as it's the right one slowly. If that was my walking role, along, you dropped a one and got a two. If that is, if that is not a good roll, I'm taking my inspiration. <laughs> I my can God, never tell. please! That is such a bad <laughs> roll. Please. Jackson and Scrambles are both sneaking in broad sight. Oh my God! Yeah, no, <laughs> Scrambles, like. Am I both roll stealth? Scrambles light Got it, I need a stealth check. Check it. I got a total of eight. Nice. Out of... Oof. I mean... Can I use my, my last inspiration to try again? <laughs> Please. You want to. Mike, do you have inspiration? I yes, don't. I, I used it to re-roll a one. <laughs> okay. Uh, so use Toggin's inspiration and roll that again. Okay. Thank you, Toggin. <laughs> Toggin sh shoots his scrambles. He tries to oh. walk a little more quietly. But he, he does. He walks much more quietly now. <laughs> he starts snuffing out the fire Sorry. I started. Toggin, like... Oh my like God. elbow scrambles and like points to the ice that he's like very definitely crackling on. Like no, yes. walk over on the snow, dumbass. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so it's despite the fact that I am on on uh <laughs> Alright, so the watch way... out watch and everything and I completely and <laughs> completely clueless <laughs> for three rolls it's straight. <laughs> So the way party not... stealth works is there's a couple different ways you can do it depending on the DM and depending on the situation. In this particular case, I was looking for basically an average for um, the four rolls. Uh, so My average. <laughs> take the highest of mine and just like, put that into the average. Add them to all three. All three together. Add Unless them up. Unless you want to do something to it, it will pass by below you. Moving to the south. Okay. Eight, yeah, I got twenty. Uh, uh, the three rolls. And that's the real thing, not the dice. The dice was worse. <laughs> I say we leave it be. I don't want to fight this thing right now. Still, yeah, no, no, we don't need to fight. 
Still healing. Yeah. Right, okay, so first that, up, he does die. Hagen know what it is? Okay. He doesn't want to mess with it, but he does want to know what it is. Uh, give me a nature check with advantage. Nature. Hey. You want that in the tower? No. Why is he getting an advantage? Because Damn it. he grew up in the ice and snow. This is an ice and snow. He creature. grew up in the mountains. <laughs> like I'm just stop making sure. I just wanted to verify the <laughs> legitimate reason. <laughs> it's a story reason, yes. <laughs> nice. This Ow. is called a frost salamander. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, they have an appetite for any source of heat. Glad that's we didn't start a fire. The living, Rambles will make sure his thighs don't rub together. They can also <laughs> burrow through loose soil and dig into ice. Hell those teeth, man. That's perfect. It's right. a nice rhyme that did there. Anyway, uh And it has a freezing Yeah, breath. I still continue. It has a freezing breath that goes out sixty feet. Ow. Wow. So nice. Yep. It, it is bad idea to mess with those. Yes. Yeah, but there's things you could do with the hide. All right, back to bed, everybody. Right. Yeah, everybody no. Found, oh yeah, I mean, I'm sure. It's a lot of pocketbooks Probably. and wallets. That's right. I mean, oh, too. there's probably some rich people out there who are like, oh yeah, I got to get my frost salamander skin, uh, wallets and boots and, you know. It's gonna be in existence. There's no way it can't be. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's definitely a thing. There's somebody poaching the shit, so... <laughs> it's definitely a thing. But, like... Cotton fandolin. <laughs> I, am, I am so the opposite. I'm so the opposite of that. That it wouldn't be in consideration and, for Jackson, so... Yeah. And Fandolin, the, the richest goat farmer, will not be able to afford that, so... <laughs> it's not even worth it. I don't know, he just made a buttload of money off this... Uh... Five goats he had to sell the adventurers. They yeah. charged them ten <laughs> times the normal price for it. <laughs> no, I proactively paid him ten times the normal price. It was very important to me. Plus, I got a goat guy now. How many, who else has a goat guy here? That's right. I didn't think so. Just me. <laughs> didn't know we needed a goat guy. <laughs> hey, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you do. You don't know until you got one. I mean, and then you're like, wow. Or well, you've hey, been on my life. I hope that yours <laughs> is, uh, is a good one. I hope that he's uh, the goat, the greatest of all time. Yep. All right, so. Sometimes you goat know what you got till it's gone, okay? And right. I got it. Yeah. So. You, you goat it. You, you go to let us rest. know. Uh, there you go. All right, so everybody gets a long rest. <laughs> Why? Please. Heck yeah. So now I'm talking <laughs> as scrambles. Why? <laughs> <laughs> scrambles it says this out loud. He's like, I mean, uh, party taking long rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm not sure when that happened or how long it's been happening, but okay. I think it's a new thing. Alright, um, anyway. That's definitely a new thing. <laughs> Alright, so the morning comes. Uh, you see the tracks of the salamander. It is not a subtle creature. With how scary it is, it doesn't south. have to be subtle. And you guys, thankfully, are going north and east around the corner. Uh, let me get back to this. My mouth's pretty small. I don't see that. Alright, give me survival checks. Or uh, survival. a survival check. So, Talgan, uh, uh, give me the Talgan. survival check with an advantage. Advantage. Well, Sheeb. So, nice. there is the zoomed in version. Come on, why didn't it share? There we go. Oh, hello. 
Okay, cool. Alright, so you are able to do make good time. Uh, it is crisp, clear morning, a uh, little windy, but nothing insane. Come on, what's happening here? As I'm waiting for my fancy ground to catch up. I don't recall the art. Is, um, are we going towards that green pin? Or are we going towards the marker for the Inspire Peak? Or do we not know it all? Uh, you're going toward the green pin. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right, and... So as you're walking, you see this... Huge fortress, it's a stone fortress atop the icy spur of a jagged mountain. The mountain, um, now the mountain, of course, is much, much bigger than the fortress, but they are, uh, the fortress itself has these two large structures, and they're joined together by this long stone bridge across the two of them. And there's, similar to the lighthouse, there's this winding, narrow path corkscrewing up the mountainside to the smaller of the two structures, which is to the east. Um, the wind has picked up a little bit as you're looking at this huge edifice in front of you. Fixing Taug and stuff. Um, are you guys going to be doing anything special? You're going to have to go a single file up the pathway. Okay. I mean, hey, y'all hey, are talking to keep telling you about right? the scary things we might find in the mountains. <laughs> think we're find things. <laughs> Before we start walking up this super sketchy narrow staircase, Scrambles is going to take out of his bag his. Uh, his wand of secrets, and he's gonna oh, swish it yeah. towards the tower to see if there's any secret doors that we might be able to use to get through without having to go up the sketchy staircase of doom. Um, Good choice. Good choice. Just in case anybody doesn't know, we click on the wand of secrets. I'll tell you what it does. Yeah. Wand of secrets. Uh, we got it a while ago, and it uh, has three charges in it. So I'm gonna use one while holding it. I can use its charge uh, to show me any secret doors or traps within 30 feet of me. So I'm going to get closer to where the tower is and use it so that I'm well within five, six feet of the tower and kind of just point it at stuff in that area. And any uh, traps or secret doors uh, will be illuminated for me so we can see them. <clears throat> well, hey, uh, there is a hunting trap hanging off of uh, Toggin's backpack, and that does illuminate. <laughs> Well, I'll be in front of everybody at that point. I'm not going to be standing behind anyone. I mean... <laughs> like hey, you said any traps or secret doors, and... But hey, it's not a bad call-out. I, I appreciate the call-out. <laughs> I mean, we also didn't get this that long ago. We got it, like, when we were with the crab, didn't we? So yeah, we got it from the fishermen after the crab. So we've had it for yeah. about six days now. Has it really been a week? Well, we took five days at the house, so. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we took five days at the house, and we got it the day before we got there. So it's been about six, maybe seven days. Uh, yeah, I wasn't there for that, so makes sense. Yeah. I'm like, damn, that feels like it was, like, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you don't see any secret doors in the... In the vicinity so far. Yeah, uh, no traps or anything like that on the bottom of the staircase or like partially up within 30 feet of scrambles. No, so the, what's happening is there's a s thin walkway and uh, about five feet wide usually that you're, you guys are walking along. Um, 
and it winds its way all the way all around and down and then slowly works its way up to the smaller of the two buildings. Uh, give me just a moment here as I want to check. I'm not going to worry about lighting. There we go. Stop, Stop it. it. Go away. Good. Alright, All right, so, so I will share. share. So, so what, what is, is the, the order that, that you're walking, walking in? So said so Frambles has the wand out, so he'll go first, because okay. he's checking for magic traps and stuff like that as he goes. Followed by? Uh, Jackson is fine. Okay, how close are you? Uh, I don't know, how how, how wide is the trail? How obvious are we? Five feet. Single oh, file. Just, you tell me. You guys are single yeah. file, so you can be single adjacent, five, five feet. One right after the other, you can be 10 feet apart, you can wait half an hour for between each person, whatever you want to do. I'm asking you, in the environment in which we are walking, is it conducive to be right close to each other, or is it far, farther apart is fine? Are you, we're walking in front of wide... ...together, then you might be able to grab somebody who falls, or uh, you might be able to... See something that, right, that makes sense. and alert them. Right there. The logic is now completely illogic, logical. So, yes, we'll be walking five feet apart. I'll be behind him, etc. All right, so who's bringing out the back? Toggin or Godin? Uh, if you're okay with it, I think Toggin would bring up the back, unless Godin really wants to. No, that's fine. No. I'll be third. Okay. I remember Godden liking it in the rear it for some reason. That's pretty casual. <laughs> 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 no, he, he has traditionally uh, been our, our, our six, so, uh, but yeah, that's fine. Talking's cool. <laughs> that was definitely a joust. Was it just a joke? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> a jest? Yeah. A jest, not a joust. I don't know why I said a joust. Because <laughs> it's more fun to say that way? I don't know. A joust in the rear would be all bad. <laughs> <laughs> you might not be into it. Somebody yeah. is. I'm not going to shame your kink, okay? <laughs> Whatever you want to do in your <laughs> spare time is your call. As long as all parties are consenting, are consenting. and happy. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm going to zoom out a little bit so the stream can see a little bit of what's going on. Uh, there you go. Jackson was suggesting a non-consensual kiss of a dead ogre a little while ago. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, go ahead and move yourselves along. What's it? Where'd that come from? We're moving ourselves along. We're moving. Cinderella We're moving. and Snow White come in. Non-consensual kisses while people are unconscious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Those suck, right? When does Cinderella do that? It's not, si or not Cinderella. It's Snow no White and um, Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. Godin, you gonna move? Save the file, man. I'm just I trying not Toggin to get ahead of could, the DM. <laughs> Toggin put, could push you off the edge to get past you, but I don't think he really wants to. <laughs> Alright, no, so no, no, Scrambles, you see there brothers. are clear tracks, Is it horse okay. tracks, hooves, Wait. and... I'll um, hold my fist up so everybody stops for a second. Okay. And boots hooves. We never, never travel like this. This is fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> They're hooves. Holy shit. So I'm going to lean down and look at the ground and can I tell how many horses there are or does it just seem like there's one set of horse tracks? There's definitely more than one. So I'm going to let the group know, hey, uh, this path has been very recently traveled by multiple people on horseback. So let's keep the, the chatter pretty quiet so we can try to keep some stealth as we come around the corners of this place and keep an eye out for horses. 
and I'll I'm, hush my I'm gonna, talk down I'm, a little bit, and I'll keep walking. As he tells the party yeah, of very tall people that, hey, let's try to be stealthy. <laughs> Yeah, you I know that being you can be quiet. Yes. But you could not hide. There's no where you're in the middle no, of No, I'm not trying to hide. <laughs> of a trail. So yeah. if yeah, anybody I'm on the edge from of the castle cliff. is watching, you are being seen. Yes. But I don't want them to be sitting around a corner and waiting for us and then hear us coming from a mile away, so Right. right. Uh Toggin uh casually uh uses the uh cloak of many fashions to like sort of like camouflage him into the uh like the rock nearby so it's like got like a little bit of white but it's mostly like that grayish bluish oh scrambles just disappeared as as Did i'm not, walking along that's not me <laughs> uh, as i'm walking past the same area i'm also looking i have a i will just look me assess what he has seen and see if i can get any more information out of it and whatnot why am I not even there? Okay. You see horse hoof prints and boot prints. You do not see anything else besides that. Okay. No assertion of anything. All right. Is everybody gone here? I can't see anybody. Here. I'm at this. Okay. So I just moved. Uh, I just jumped it up, saved a little time. Yeah, I just didn't want to get ahead of you. So we're going to keep going a little bit. Yeah, I guess uh, the map's starting to end here, I think. Oh, maybe not. All right, there we go. Sorry. We're moving. We're... So again, See, this, is, are... this is live action. This is live action right now. Two. This game's exciting. There are two large buildings. <laughs> The higher one is larger and two stories. This one is one story that you're approaching. It's a smaller building. As you're coming around, you don't see any arrow slits on this side. You did see several on the what would be the north side of the building itself. Okay. We'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. We'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Do we have a plan of what we're doing now that um, based on what we see? Oh, shit balls. So as you come around the corner, uh, you see that there's uh, some rubble. Uh, and it looks like an avalanche. Rubble, rubble. Let's get ready to rubble! <laughs> oh, damn. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. All right, just be cautious for they, uh, some sort of creature like on the thing. top of that sort of thing. What's our plan of action here again? As far as going up this path, so at the base of this rubble, okay. 5, 10, 15, give 20. Me a, um, survival check. Scrambles. Okay, give me a sec. I actually have good survival, so I'm happy with that. Grab it. There it is, skill. Wah, wah, wah. Three. Uh, total of seven. So, yeah, it's there's lots of snow. You're not sure uh, how deep, you know, how what all is in it. You also see, you know, as you're pushing and pushing some javelin or your axe or whatever. Uh, you, there's some rocks in there too. So, okay. Um. This hill that I'm standing next to, on the map, 
if we were able to climb up this hill, there's like a ledge that also has rubble up there. I have pythons, and Jackson has pythons. I'm going to turn to the back of the group and go, hey, do we want to just scale the side of this cliff, or do we want to try to navigate around this rubble? Because I feel like if we slip on the rubble and we fall, we might be screwed. But we have pythons for climbing. Do we want to use them? What do you guys think? Jackson, give me a survival check. Okay. Talking, you can give me a survival check. Did mine work? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Alright, so, Talking, you think you can just... You should be able to get through the snow. You think climbing this mountain is going to be very difficult. I think the ice and the snow makes I makes the rocks more slick than they look. Okay. It might be better to just keep going. Ship of Fools is in the house. Thank you for the biddy, sir. I appreciate you very much. Welcome. Oh, rules. Yeah, let's do that, man. I am all okay. for that. I will follow your direction. I mean, your suggestions, Dogan. Appreciate yes. Biddy, sir. Thank you. You're awesome. I appreciate that very much. All right, so you start progressing through the rubble. Yeah, very slowly, carefully going through the rubble. Um, as and as you're taking your time, um, you are able. Yeah, there are rocks, and then you slip every once in a while, but it's not dangerous enough to. Um, as you you force your way through the snow, you're plowing, uh, mate, and actually, by the time it gets to Talgan, it's a lot easier for him because you guys have already cleared a lot of the way. Some of it you can kick down um, and you're able to get through it just fine. Just as long okay. as you're taking your time and going slow. Yeah, we're going to carefully go through that. Alright, well then... Until, uh, I mean, Toggin just pushes you from watching. behind. Makes you fall. Yeah. Well, if we ever need to go down, we're, we're good on the going down part. Yeah, the gravity the repelling, helps with that. The repelling part, yes. Well, I also have the uh, staff of immobility. Oh, that's true. The last of us, that's less of us is screwed, but. <laughs> I have a staff of immobility. All right, so you walk awesome. under the, uh, the bridge. Bridge. The Could we scale that pit into map. there? This is D&D. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Just let's scale the... Uh, the I would like to make a check to see if it's wise to scale that thing. Yeah. Just we just turn around and ask Tog. <laughs> Tog in the wise. Let's do this. I was like, <laughs> my... I can't get past the bridge. Right. Should I be able to get past the bridge? No, stop moving. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Um, I mean, is the bridge like straight up in the air, or is it like built like yes, a... Yes, it is straight up. It is going from one building to the other. And oh. at this point, it is... Yeah, how would we get up there? Like a big ass rope or something? That's what he's saying you would climb this wall. Oh, or the, from to the inside east, the building. To the west. Um, I was looking to see exactly how high. I'm it just is. asking. I'm not saying. Uh, yeah. I think it's a dumb idea, but I'm just asking. <laughs> I have this terrible plan. <laughs> right. All right, um, no, so the wind oh. is very strong, and by the way, this is. You are 2,500 feet up at this point. Ooh, wow. 2,500? Yes. Okay. So, uh, you guys have been going very slowly, so your bodies have acclimated and such, but um, it is similar to those of you who have lived in Denver or been in those type of situations and know that it's the air is thinner up here. And um, there's a 
three story tall Denny's in Las Vegas? Is it kind of like that <laughs> high? I've been there. Oh my god. It's just like that. <laughs> I mean, it's Las just Vegas like is that literally guy. in the desert. Like. So yeah, but, that, about but I said it was three stories you. tall. It's about 40 <laughs> feet above you, give or take. Um, right, and the, the trail you're on is continuing to slope up and slope up. Uh, as you continue to work your way around, and you see a door. You do see arrow slits in the building just a little to your south. Um, I'm going to very cautiously the approach closed. the door. I'm going to very Give cautiously approach the door. What is your, your passive perception is 14? 14. Um, you smell horses and hay. Uh, gross. Smell horses. Ugh. <laughs> Something's behind here. Okay. Or it could be female minotaurs. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to try to open the door. Alright, so you open the door. And you see you are in a stables. Um, hold on. There it is. It's a very stable environment. What the hell? Okay, this is stupid. Here, I'll, I'm going to show you what they did. Come on, show all NPCs. There we go. Horsies, horsey, horsey. I see four. Squeezed in there. Yeah, I just see four horses. So, so yes, you do. That's exactly, exactly what happened. You see horses, um, and they're in the stables, in the stalls. They got the horses in the back. Wow. Thanks for that, Micah. Awesome. Uh, let's not fuck with any of the horses, guys. Uh, on these horses, do they have, like, bags? Do they have, like, bags or any, like, insignia on them? Or, like, blankets or anything that would tell us? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Also, to scale, are these horses giant? Because they're way bigger than me. These horses are... Oh, okay. That's, how you can ride, that's why you can ride him. That makes sense. Um, but they're they're regular horses. They're about you know, you, you know what a regular horse is like. Uh, I, I apologize when I fixed. Believe it or not, if you zoom in a little bit, you can see that there is a wall there. Um, I yes. didn't make it enough of a wall, <laughs> but because uh, they had it out all completely all the way out, and I moved it back, but I just didn't move them back enough. Um, yeah. So, for example, oink. a little bit more. Anyway, the point is, um, these these are thick walls. Um, it's still as much warm warmer in here. Uh, one because you have these three horses that are giving off heat. But you're also out of the biting cold wind. Yeah. Um, the two of you who are inside, at least. And let me go back. There it is. All right. Um, you do see their tack, uh, the horses. I mean, the the saddles and the bridles and stuff. Um, they look like typical human stuff that you would buy in Vandalin. Okay. Um, give me a percentile. Oh, my bad. I did not click the right one. Although seven's pretty awesome. It is. Fifty. Right in the middle. Blam. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Alright, um, and you notice one of them has the, uh, it's very faded, but uh, the stamp of the um, lion share, lion lion hold uh, 
Coffin, Coffin, whatever the hell they're called. Where'd he go? Oh, uh, so, from our town? Yes, from Vandalin. There, it, was it is the Lion, Share, Lion Shield Coster. Yes. Lion Shield it's Coster. ran by Linda Win something. Yep, um, and it's got their symbol on it, which is a uh, lion. Oh, okay, so these are presumably... Blue lion painted on it, but this one isn't blue, it's just a stamp into the so leather. Did that dumb hoe lie to me when I asked her if she knew there were people up here? Because I asked her if we could hire people to come up here, and she said, oh, there's nobody in town, we don't have anybody like that. But this is their shit. And Godin was with me, so he should be just as confused as I am. It's like, one of them, and it's also at least six months, if not a year old. Oh. This is not new, new equipment. Okay. Well, hmm. This is pretty strange. This is from Fandolin, guys. I'm going to let everybody know. This is from the Lion Coster down in Fandolin. Interesting. Well, let's just keep Quite. an eye out. So it smells, smells like, like horses, horses and hay in here. Hey! Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna go around the corner here a little bit. There are so many doors. There are. <laughs> yep, there's four, four doors. So I'm gonna stand in front of this door, and I'm gonna put a thumbs up or a thumbs down and look over my shoulder at the group. Thumbs up or thumbs down? The, the group is Jackson. So Jackson, he's looking to you. And God now. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And I have my hand on the door handle. Yeah, I'm behind you. Well, we got nothing else to do. I wait for other people. Come on, guys, let's do this. Okay, so he's asking, do you want him to open the door? Thumbs up. Thumbs yes. up. Or th open the door. Yes. Thumbs down. No. Or do you want him to go to the next door? Yeah. Thumbs so up. I'll, oh, cool. So I will open this door. Okay. So no, not that door. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't see anything when I open the door. It's just like a sliver of light in the corner. There are steps going up. Okay. And there's a landing above you. Uh, looks to be about five feet. Now you can tell, for those of you who have survival, of my freaking... Oh, I've got I have the survival. Right button. There is. Um, as you were walking around... You saw that the bridge was higher than where than the floor you're on right now. Oh, okay. So this is probably the gate, the door, the place that will bring me up to the bridge. Correct. You can you have that much spatial awareness, especially as a minotaur. Yeah. I'm good with dungeons and things. Well, not dungeons, but mazes. He's good okay. with hallways and constricting so things. So, I will yes. take my rocky talkie out <laughs> and point <laughs> at it. And then I will gesture Jackson to go to the door that is not the one I'm standing in front of. And I'll do this. Like a little opening motion and like a looky motion. And then I'll symbol the Rocky Talkie. <laughs> and then when Jackson goes over to that other door, I'll do the same thing with God and send him to the other door so we can check all of the doors. So I'm going to the lower right check here. All of doors Seal exactly Team 6 right. door situation. And then hopefully Godin will do the door that Jackson is not standing in front of. <laughs> I've got two of them I'm standing in front of, right? Yep, and then Godin can just pick whichever one you don't do. So we okay. can try to check and see what's going on. Oh, yep, and Taugen, I didn't even see that other door. Perfect. So we'll start <laughs> with Jackson. I'll motion to Jackson <laughs> first. I have my Rocky Talkie out. Okay. What do you see? You're at the Very quietly. <laughs> what do you see? Okay, I'll open the door. I see. Uh, you see that this is, um, uh, you don't see anything. Why did you not open it? There, I'll open it. I did. Open. I did. Open. It's open. I can see inside. I'll move in. There we go. That better? Now I'm step back. Looking at the stream, Wait, trying, to, trying to get, uh, trying to get it to show up, and it's not showing. There we go. Now it's showing. What up. is the light level like in here? Are we like able to see? For those of us that don't have dark vision. No, it is dark in here. Ah, uh, shit. Um, you do... S oh. Had to speak up, then. You had to say something. There's light coming in from where? From uh, the arrow slit on the top of the stairs where Scrambles is. 
And that's I'll hold your hand and walk you around, okay? <laughs> I have 60 so feet of darkness, so shot? I can see everything. Uh, and we'll yeah, be blinded. Toggin's going to, like, find, like, a rock and then, like, have it, like, cupped in his hand so that he can, like, put his hand over it and, like, only let, like, a slit of light through. So during combat, what are you gonna do with the rock? Fucking toss it on the ground. At that point, they're gonna know <laughs> that we're there. Okay. So it's a smithy. You see a anvil covered in dust. Mm. So Jackson probably has no idea what that is. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what dust is. I, I'll agree with that. I know what the anvil is. So if you whisper into your rocky talkie, the people around you will probably hear you, and then I'll be able to hear you from across the room. Okay. Then that's what I did. You do see some uh, rusty tools and old horseshoes as well. Okay. So my report back is that it's some sort of a little place to fix things. Okay, cool. I thumbs up, and then I motion to God, and I do the okay, door God. open symbol. Okay, open door. hold on. Hello. So Jackson, you're, you went in here. I didn't go in. We were talking out in the hallway. I just went well, in. Move out of my way. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. See, I went there. And I can't move there now. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, it is now open. I got it. All right. I got it. Okay, so now I'm out of the way. That was painful. And I, and I motioned to Jackson to give the rocky talkie to Godin before he goes and opens the door so we know we okay, can hear that. Perfect. Look at this plan coming together, guys. I know, it's like, it's like magical. We're a well-oiled machine. We almost have magic powers or something here. Yeah. It's almost like we have the gift of literally constant communication. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> whatever this discord spell is it's really nice yeah all right so go ahead uh as you open the door as soon as you open the door you have four things flying at you Oop. and i need initiative Oop. everybody yes in the tower nope nah There's my nat, my nat fucking 20, the most useless guy. Scramble is over so here. So dumb! He's on top of things with the rocky <laughs> talkie. <laughs> Did that even work? It's a waste of that 20. He got like yes, it worked. a hint of the oh, wish oh. of something flying at God. That was my original one. Rocky talkie. And... <laughs> my intelligence roll. <laughs> <laughs> the intelligence. <laughs> I mean, he's like, I feel like we should be fighting. My <laughs> intelligence tells me that. <laughs> My I should be ready for combat. Me that these people might not be friendly. <laughs> I say we just toss the rock light in there and SEAL Team 6 flashbang him out of there. <laughs> right? Uh, Jackson, give me a percentile. Hey. I, I still have that uh, necklace of fireballs. <laughs> we just maybe a little overkill for what we're doing right now. Nice. Oh, nice! Okay. <laughs> I got a three. Three percent's dope. A three out of a hundred. Yeah. Hold on a second, Toggin. You got skip turn. Just on happened. You. Hmm. Let me delete that. There we go. Oh, yeah, from uh, when he was not on the combat tracker. Yeah, Alright, so I'm going to say because you rolled a three, you don't have to roll a second time. Um, scrambles, give me a percentile. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. Nice. Heck yeah, we're doing it. We turn into a dragon and eat all those bugs up. <laughs> I think that only happens if you get oh, like. And I just zoomed in. They're not bucks. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought they were bugs. bugs. I zoomed nope, in there, are not bugs. Alright, so those four are... crossbow balls go flying at Godin. Two of them completely miss. One of them hits the door, clink, um, and the door goes slamming open. Um, one of them does hit him. And the last one is a miss. Four people shooting at one person filling up a doorway, and three of them miss. <laughs> with, kind of with adamantine that. armor. With, um, ad with adamantine armor, so God, he does so have. Slender. So, so in, I'm going one freaking huge pile um, of metal right now. So, I am not going to say, while you are startled, I'm not going to say you are surprised, per se, because you were, in theory, you should have been ready and, and not knowing what was behind the doors. So, I'm going to say you can take your turn. Okay. So, you see... Um, I should have done this as each one shot you, but that's all right. The last one who shot you uh, is a red-haired woman pulled back in a uh, her hair is pulled back in a ponytail. Okay, so there's like a whole paragraph of things, and there's like two words that are descriptive, so it won't be that big of a deal. Um, and that is uh, a tracker accurate. Okay. A right, bunch of bad guys in front of me. Don't yes. care what they look Combat like. Combat trackers, actually. Right. Yes. They all well, try to shoot me. Why did you even roll initiative? I don't understand. I've ruined a twenty, and I'm not first. Because what happens in a surprise round is, oh, this is a surprise after round. After your turn okay. goes, you then have reactions. That makes sense. I didn't know it was a surprise round. I was like, he got a five. I rolled a twenty-two. How did he go first? <laughs> I just never roll well on initiative, I'm... and I wasted a twenty on it. So I was like, right, let's get right. some bonus out of this. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Right. And I will let you go first next turn. Give me okay. a second, Jackson. All right, so Jackson, you see? Hang on, hang on a second. I'm trying to. Why is it not letting me? Select. Because you moved right, behind it. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm trying to select people, and it's not letting me on the... Not letting me do it on the combat tracker, only the actual icons right now, which is weird. But it did it eventually, but it's like 15, 20 seconds behind if I do it in the combat tracker. All right, so anyway, one, two, three, and myself, yes? How many can I do? Give me a second. Blast is three. Up to three. Okay, very good. Unless you upcast it, then it's one more per oh, upcast. So, Jackson, you see an unshapely man whose best years are behind him, standing in front of you with his crossbow out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He has aspirations of being a model. Sure. <laughs> you can tell he hasn't given up the dream. Did I miss somebody? Did Jackson disappear on the bless? What? He did. Hang on. <laughs> Let me redo Jackson. I don't know why this thing is. It's just sometimes it is so far behind. It doesn't immediately if I hit the icon, but if I go on the on the, on the combat track today, today, it's like super slow reaction. Mm -hmm. All right, let me do bless again for him. Give me a second. There we go. <gasps> I zoomed out on the uh, map and just see Minuet outside the out. door. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way he's coming in there. Right. <laughs> so, I'm, okay. What was, am I, can I go or not? Are we in battle? We are in battle and you're not going no. Hold on just a moment. Okay. I am ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, can we skip? <laughs> Did I spell it wrong? Dead gummit.
There it is. Skip turn. All right. All right. So, give me just one more moment. Where'd he go? Here he is. All right. Um, scrambles. Here you go. All these crossbow bolts come flying out. Ting, 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 ting. One of them hits him. He rocks back. He jumps into the corner and casts a spell. Um, and you see a person in front of you, up against the wall, and you think you might there might be other people in there, too. Okay. So, Scrambles okay. is going to uh, use his bonus action. Two? Yes. How is it round two, and I have not done anything? Yeah, my name is Surprise round. When you guys open the door, surprise. these four bolts come flying out. They were right, standing was there. Two. They knew you were coming. They were standing there with the crossbow bolts ready. You open a door right. and they pull the trigger. That was the first right. round. Now it's round two. So, right, but I don't Scrambles know is down the way. I have not gone yet. Scrambles didn't go in the first round either. So now this is the second yeah. round and he's gone. God is the only so one these, who wins so in the first round. The combat tracker does not track the, the people's order of action in the order that they are. It, it never changes. Correct. Correct. Because yeah, this is weird. You know, people were saying that they would rather have it be unknown so that way they can pay more attention to the combat and not know when they come up in combat. So oh, okay. we're trying it this way. To where you have no idea right. when your turn is going to be. That's, that's, my, that's my confusion. I'm looking at his name on mine. I'm like, I have not gone in two rounds yet, so. Okay, cool. <laughs> on, where we, on where we go. Okay. So um, I'm going to, because I don't know what it would be to take something out of my backpack. I'm assuming it's at very least a bonus action. Is that accurate or no? Well, I can just take things out of my backpack. backpack. My lantern. Um, yes, it would be. And what are you doing with it? I'm going to shit whip it into that room. Okay. Um, so you're saying that you carry a fully loaded, you know, a lantern full of oil in your backpack oh, at does. all times? I have a oh. hooded. I have a hooded lantern, and I have uh, a tankard of oil for just this situation. Okay. Do you I have, have eleven flasks? oil flasks? Yeah, eleven oil flasks so and a I will let you do either hooded one. lantern. The hooded lantern is not gonna hold that much oil and it won't doesn't yes. explode. You have a flask of oil as well. So either one of those you could grab one of them and throw one of them as your full action if you want. Sure. My thing with the flask of oil is it doesn't have a way to be lit. I'd have to Neither find some kind of molotov. Whipping it into so, that room. My question is: A lantern has a way to be lit, or it's not a lantern. It has some kind of wick in it, right? Yes. That okay. takes. So means take you have to take out your tinder box and go. Tch, 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 and light oh. the lantern. So okay. That would yeah. Well, then, a it's not a little push button one. Yeah, the little push button ones aren't existing. But you have magic people who might be able to light it for you. No, that's fine. I will take out my hooded lantern and light it for this action and then I'm going to walk up to behind Jackson and you've seen him do this before so Scrabbles is going to tell everybody I'm about to throw this in there and just burn the whole room down and I just that's what my turn will be okay got it mm-mm-mm Or, uh, I'm going to step back to here. <laughs> okay. And give me a second. Oh, I can't do that too. Hang on a second. Just realized I can't do that. What I was going to do, but I might be able to do this. Eight. Just going to get for this particular situation either. That one is. 
Oh, yes. Do I already have... Tell 2345. Gosh, I've already done that, too. Well, crap. Almost everything I have is concentration. Almost everything. Literally. Damn. So, I can see one bad guy well from here. Reasonably clear shot with my crossbow. Is there any negatives? They'll be minus two because you have two big guys in front of you. <clears throat> ah, crap. Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration because we don't have much time left. Okay. Screw me. All right, next. So this woman has this muscular woman with black hair and cold blue eyes. She steps out. Uh, sort of uh, does a quick measured look at Jackson and Token is going to slashy slash at um, Jackson. Oh, really? Slashes out and slices with her sword. She also has a short sword in her other hand. Um, and hits. Little damage. A rugged, sullen brute with her. Um, that's all it says. As he steps forward and attacks as well. Uh, this guy is only using a, a long sword. Minimal damage. Slices again. Oops, hold on, let me see if he hits first, or that it wouldn't do that damage anyway, so. And right, just for the sake of ease, I'm just going to leave it like that. It should have done more, but that's all right. All right, Jackson, you got two in front of you, two, two behind. You're being handed a lantern. It's being handed to me? Yes, scramble. Okay. You and I just saying, didn't... chuck it. And explode them in the face. That's not okay. <laughs> not while they're That's standing directly in front of you. Yeah, so if I'm gonna. Rebels have given up on it. Pass it back to him, <laughs> and I'm gonna go into a barbarian rage and start kicking ass here. Yay. What? Going into a rage? What does it do? I've never yes. seen you do that before. Yeah, okay, barbarian is a bonus action. Yeah. In battle, <laughs> you fight. Primal Ferocity. On your turn, you can enter a rage as a bonus action. When raging, you gain the following benefits if you aren't wearing heavy armor, which I'm not. You have the advantage of strength on checks and strength saving throws. You have a melee weapon attacking using strength. You gain a bonus to the damage roll that increases as you gain levels as a barbarian, as shown in the rage damage thing. Uh, I have resistance to bludgeoning and piercing. And slashing damage. Bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. That's awesome. And what's the last thing it says? Uh, if you're able to cast a spell, you can't vote. Uh, Alright, so click, rage for one click, your, click your effect. And then roll it on your okay. chart to see what happens. As you tap into the magic around. Chart is the wild magic ta uh, table. Can you hear me? Is that what you're talking about? Can I just use that? I don't know. I, I did the wrong thing. It's wild magic. Isn't it? So if we need anything out of the garage, just text me. 
Fen, my man. Am I rolling off the wild magic yes, tablet? Uh, wild, wild magic table. Okay, thank you. Are they opening doors? I gotta make six. Let's see what that says. It says until your rage ends. Hold on. You you realize I'm doing the the barbarian rage bonus session, right? Never mind. Okay. okay. Yes, yeah, so a six. So six says. I'm so your rage ends. You are surrounded by multicolored protective lights. Gain a plus one bonus to AC, and while within ten feet of you, your allies gain the same bonus. So uh, you're gonna yeah, look like you're, you would use the first one and roll. Just go. Lots of electric shit. Say again. You would use the first one that you rolled. I'm not sure why you rolled twice. It would be from the all the lights shoot from your chest. Oh, okay. My mistake. All right. I'm sorry. Iron Man. Do that again. That was a bold. Your Iron yes, Man. Yes, a bolt of lights shoot from your chest. Other creatures. So another you creature of your choice. Thirty feet of you must succeed. In the kind of, okay. So I need to choose. Uh, I'm gonna hit the guy right in front of me. Okay. okay. So there's a. You have. A save button. Click on it. On the, okay. Hold on a minute. It's on the thing itself. Nope. I don't see a save button here at all. Is it up on the top of the Under chart? Wild Surge 8. If you click the magnifying glass. Ah, I haven't got there yet. Come on. There is a cast button or save button. Ah, yes. Okay, cool. Look. This cast and save. Which one? Save. Both do the same thing. Not according to this. All right, so he saved, so he does not take the damage. Okay. As he That's a bonus so action, so I now I can fight it. He's able to dodge it. So that is your bonus action. So now you still have yep. your regular actions. Okay. I'm going to strike him my sword. Here we go. The sword's coming out. Here we go. It's starting to out. Come on, baby. Here we go. And... Why is it that? Did it roll? I can't it see anything hits. here. So roll okay. damage. Yes. Stop. Okay. I don't know why they would put a flywheel on a fucking mouse, but it is the stupidest thing. It is the stupidest thing. Alright, how'd that do? I'm sorry. I'm just... All right. So you get, are you going to do your second attack at the same guy or someone else? Um, I, actually, I won't do the second guy. Just be creative here. Okay. As long as I'm not getting any no, no hits of opportunities happening. There we go. Come on, baby. All right. Oh yeah, definitely right, a hit. So you successfully hit a woman. Nice. <laughs> Remember what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> Not assault charges. He that probably wins. The guy that hit him will the follow you around. around. <laughs> All right. Looks like I was successful at hitting both. I, th I thought I had dancing lights around me, but I don't. So you're still in the dark. I I'm done, I guess. So I. Okay. All right, so crossbow bolt, unless you want to move. Did you want to move? Me? Yes. Can I can I duck down or something? Or uh, there's no place for me to move. You can go prone if you want. They'll have advantage when they hit you. I am not moving. Okay. There's no place to move, and there's no so reason. Crossbow bolt slams into your chest. You said it. I'm in a rage though. Correct. So instead of 11 damage, you only take 5. There you go. Talkin. So, um, have we tried talking to these people? <laughs> no. There has been not a single word spoken except here as Scrambles handed him the, tried to hand him the lantern, and then okay. he didn't take it. Uh, they also attacked us first. So, uh, I guess first off, Toggin drops the rock so that it lights shit up. Um, 
Um. Is there any chance we could resolve this without killing each other? And he's gonna say that. And, uh, he's going to, uh, ready an action to, uh, use his, uh, Goliath sickle on the person in front of him, uh, Rina Uh, if any of the, uh, or if anybody who came out of that room, uh, attacks the party. So the woman in the back... Where are you getting that accent from? That was... The woman in the back with the red hair, uh, says, in a, in a stage whisper, Sure. Just drop okay. all your stuff and turn around and leave. And we won't kill you. What's a stage we whisper? We do have reason to be here. So... And nobody else is slowing down or doing anything. They're all still attacking. Okay. Well, I did say I was readying that action, so uh, I don't have a uh, ready action on my page. But uh, he's uh, readying an action to uh, attack the person in front of him. All right. And the woman who just spoke is going to shoot you in the face. Okay. Oops. Let me do this. She's gonna try to shoot me in the face at least. She'll probably succeed, but... Yeah, that's it's still a tough shot through a doorway, through a companion. Um, you know what? Uh... No. Uh, he's going to, uh, use, uh, shield. Uh, so, as a, uh, reflex, this, uh, blue energy kind of just comes up in a protective casing around him. Okay, so you drop your ready to action. Oh, is that, is that how that works? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, reading an action takes your reaction, huh? Correct. Okay, As never mind. Gives you I will five. not. I will not do the shield if I wasn't aware of that. Um, I will not use shield then. Okay. Alright, so you slam, slams you in the shoulders. You stumble back a bit. Uh, from this heavy crossbow at close quarters. Okay then, and uh, I think that uh, activates his ready to action. So okay. uh, he's fire enough, Jackson. You're ready. I mean, you're on deck as soon as she's done with her ready to action. Okay. <laughs> Very close to being crit. <laughs> I guess that's a no then. Are you hit? No, nice. more of. Damage. I guess oh, that's cool. a no. We are not going to resolve this. Oh, without killing each other. So uh, he's just could. gonna keep you on could going. Give them all your stuff and leave. And yeah, no. There will be no death. That's, yeah, and also each other awesome. implies that they're gonna kill us, and we're not dying. Oh like, yeah, we're <laughs> not dying. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about your plan, but I want to be alive when I walk out of this bitch. <laughs> Alright, so Jackson. Your bonus action is to shoot somebody, so you can yes. use that same cast or save button that says the same thing. Can I? Okay. Can I shoot the person behind them or no? The, Within thirty feet, yes. Yes, I will do that then. I'll target this guy. Okay, and then we just do the bonus thing down at the rage plate. Cast, correct? Correct. There we go. Or save. 17 is a success. Alright, so now do your normal attacks. Okay. First one's here. Where does it go? Yes. Uh, still 8, pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah. Alright, and you have a second attack? Okay. Yep. Oh, that one sunk. Yep, she did. Alright, that's good. All right. Against his armor, she's ducking and weaving. She used a short sword to parry it. Scrambles. 
the scrambles <coughs> is going to hmm. step forward with his lantern and throw it over Jackson. Okay, where are you trying to hit? Uh, preferably the back wall behind Brackus. Brackus okay. Elspar. Uh, give me your attack roll. Unarmed doesn't do an unarmed strike. It means the same thing. Where's that? Actions. There it is, unarmed strike. Why isn't it clicking? There it is. Against Brackish or the wall, or just roll it in the tower? I uh, just roll it. Straight. It rolled, but it didn't show up in this thing. Yeah, Fancy Grounds is pausing oh. for a second. 24. Yeah, look at it. Uh, not a problem. So it slams against the wall, shatters. Um, so how do you have... You should have oil coated. Uh, like in my attacks? Yes, in your actions. Um... Rage damage is plus two. I don't have oil. I have crossbow, great axe, horn, spear, spear. I don't have oil. Symbols, actions. Okay, so. I have an item that says oil. Yes, that's. Okay, okay that's so I should click damage. So, no, click on the open it up. Yep, I did. And then, um, you can add the effect to the two of them, Brackus and Celine. Uh, effect. And then... Okay, so I guess the attack would have been against him. 24 definitely hit. Um, so go ahead and we'll do that attack button on her. Uh, attack. Nat nice. 20. Fuck right. yeah. So go ahead and I spent two rounds doing it, and it's good that it's this effective. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, click the damage on either on both of them. Do it on her first. I'm okay. going to do it again, because it should have been uh, tw uh, twice. Because it didn't roll, there is no doubles, and then do it on him. Right. Now, uh, let's see. On the hits, it's covered in oil. If they take any fire damage before the oil dries, it takes an additional fire damage from the burning oil. Um, the oil burns for two rounds and deals five damage to any creature that enters or ends its turn in the area. Okay. Oh. So then. So make sure you mark off your lantern from your inventory. Yes. And then uh, continue your turn. Yeah. So then. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to have my echo appear between Jabral or Jabarl and Brackish in that empty square. Okay. And then I'm going to have it attack Jabral. Nice. Oh, so close to another crit. And let's see some damage. Out. Not very much damage, but still. There it is. Couldn't find it for a minute. Come on. Do we do we call the nineteen uh, a twenty? <laughs> no, he's if he, if he was a champion, then yes, it would. Be. Yes, I'm not. But yeah, so that'll be uh, scrambles his move. Scrambles, right. steps over Jackson and flings the fucking lantern into the room, slams it against the wall, it splashes and gets all over everyone. And then he pops up his echo and cleaves through Jabral a little bit. And that's his turn. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, so Taugen. Ever the diplomat did not work. Sorry. <laughs> it just got back. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so diplomacy uh, didn't work, so uh, violence is the next option. Uh, and so, uh, God, he doesn't really have all that much that's uh, really good at uh, close range. Um, so he's just going to uh, attack with his sickle again. Oof. Yeah. Alright, if that's it, then pass the turn. He's just, he's just a little just disappointed that diplomacy didn't work, so, uh. Yeah. He's like, well, his heart's tried. not quite in it yet. <laughs> Alright, and so the woman in front of him lashes out and slashes into Jackson for half damage because he's raging. And the uh, short sword. Half damage there as well. So the Brachus is on fire. Um, what is his wisdom? Let's see. Check. Alright, so he's going to try to put out the fire. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's return. And he fails. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he ends his turn. Go ahead and do the second Our damage, damage to him. And then he is no longer on fire. As... This guy goes to attack Jackson. Two long sword slices. First one actually missed. Wow. Bastard. Alright, so a couple quick slashes with the long sword. Second one finds its mark as uh, both of them are, are working together trying to take down this barbarian. Uh, and uh, so she drops her crossbow. She's on fire, but uh, she knows this is going to be out in just a second. And is not worried about it. She draws her long sword and it slashes at the echo. Oof, crit. So the echo absorbs a crit. This awesome. Is not you. Nice. Go ahead and roll her damage. Or nice. add her damage to her. As her Tip. turn ends. And, uh, and Godin, you are the end of the round. I know we're running we around late, guys. Appreciate it. Godin, what are you doing? So I grab my symbol of Sylvanas. And I channel my divinity to preserve life. I need to. Let me see how this goes. That's I'm also. That's, happen. That's fine. So I'm going to give 20, uh, 25 to Jackson and 5 to Toggin. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Is it going to give me the option to do it or you? And it looks like it pretty much did it anyway. How kind of you? It did. <laughs> It did. It, it evened it out correctly. Very good. Thank you. Okay. How oh, very kind. Very nice. That is my one use of that. I got one more day, and that will end my turn. All right. So top of the round will be scrambles when we next we convene next week. So. Um, <laughs> Quick Thank question. My oil says its duration is one minute. That's if it, if you throw it into a five foot square and let it burn. Oh, okay. That's, that it lasts for a minute. Anybody who steps in it or ends their turn there takes damage. What you did is mm. attack the creature, automatically does the two attacks, the ten points of damage. Okay. Cool. Just making sure. 
that's how that works. And if you stick it in a lantern, it lasts an hour. The duration is an hour. So, yeah, there's like three or four different durations on it, depending on what you do with the oil. Well, I'm just looking under the attack item thing. It says one minute. So that's why I was yeah. like, are you sure it's two rounds? Because two rounds is way less than one minute. But, yeah, sounds good. All right. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. So thank you guys for playing. Thanks for hanging out. And Django, so much thank yous for the biddies. He's already gone, but... Uh, He's already gone, but... The, um, I do appreciate him, and... Yeah, so that is... Well, you guys have run across some people. Um, I will I will give you this uh, to chew on, uh, that they, they look to be mercenaries of some kind. Uh, they don't seem to be any kind of soldiers or any kind they don't have any kind of matching uniforms or anything like that they might be adventurers or mercenaries or something like that um, but they're four random people together working together mm. sweet all right so that is where we'll leave it um again thank you guys for hanging out and see you next week from the same time six to nine pacific time and like this subscribe. Running the show. Thank you. Appreciate it. Whatever else you guys do, enjoy the rest of your day. Say goodnight, guys. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. <laughs>